Hello, everybody. Hey. Hey. Hold on, I'm checking everything. We had some hey. gobbles and tech. Hold on. Can you hear me? Hey, uh, Mumbo. We can Yo. do. I love can pizza for breakfast. Us? So if you're having pizza. I would choose pizza. You would choose pizza, pizza for breakfast? Pizza or cookies, as I was growing up. I, I prefer savory stuff, actually, so... I yeah, do, too. One. I mean, I would have I both, like... but... Yeah. No. I choose. Also, oh, pizza. Because pizza's better, savory. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> Who says you can't have dessert also for, for breakfast? So you have yeah. you know, your pizza, and then you have cookies for dessert. I mean, isn't all ah, breakfast just dessert? American anyway. And the other one is French, so we all eat sweets for breakfast, is what no. I'm trying to say. It's true. <laughs> yeah, we can like, not cookie on right. pizza. Cookies no, on pizza? Oh, no. What? Okay. One made chocolate frosting, pour milk over it in a bowl. Now I'm... you've gone too far, sir. <laughs> breakfast? If I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> How's everybody doing? How's chat doing? Yeah. How are you guys? Thanks for the uh, the early hinder on the players. That's perfect. <laughs> what? No, stop. Not hey, hold up. That. I don't think I don't think he has enough points. Who who Ghost is? Ghostblade has enough that? points for curse on everybody. It was uh, uh, Gateway Games. Now. You know how long he's been waiting here since this morning. Yeah. He's been in the chat, ready for team uh, blue. Yeah, he lurks just so he can get all the points and then. <laughs> Spend them. Oh, actually, I mean, well, Mumbo is up to 10,000 now again. Yeah. Just uh, how many oh. more until you get this, the so, uh, legendary the item? The good news is that oh my uh, God. Dog 2 stays. <laughs> dog 2. But, yes, dog in two. the meantime, Chris got plus one from Gateway Game. Treason. Mm. Oh, and then the you know, Gateway Games is is a game creator, so it's only it would be fun if they you know creator. helped out with the players and <laughs> the ones of us who were perhaps more unfortunate than others last time. But <laughs> it's all right, but it's all right. If I mean, you don't have the opportunity to do that, you gotta spend your coins where you get them. It's only treason when they were on your side yeah, in the first place, you. Sylvie. <laughs> no, that's not true. And then uh, Moonbo said uh, advantage for the first role, so it doesn't mean DM or players, it's just anybody. Advantage <laughs> for the first, I guess the first role that's not a natural 20. Oh, because okay. Fair. Many times, like, it happened. Oh, Moonbo. It was so, a nat 20. So tired. I was up late. So after killing a player last night, we did a funeral and everything. You were killed oh, a player? No. Wow, I'm sorry. Not the character, but the player. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why they had to do the funeral. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. And you're sitting here, you're helping my players after you? Come on. Of guilt. <laughs> Just out of I'm guilt. Somehow. <laughs> Come on. DMs, Just remember DMs. who DMs. saved you against Defcon. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's true. That, it's true Gateway Games <laughs> saved us. They have to saved move, so it was pre-decided they'd go out this way. Oh, wow. They did. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Killed the player yeah, yeah. instead I, of I've moving. Seen a game that did that definitely. They had to move out of Taiwan, and so he was. Uh, what's that? He was raptured. <laughs> <laughs> Killing players is the best. Rough day. Uh, <laughs> Just want to be clear, we're talking about characters, right? No, the player. Um, it, the like, actual it player. Actual yeah. Yeah. It was a rough day. If you ever leave Taiwan. Like, yeah. We were down for drinks and suddenly Greg was out of here. Just around a big gold elevator. Uh, that's true. Were, thank you, Moonbo. It was crazy. That's true, Moonbo. So, thank you, thank you. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Nobody actually ever leaves Taiwan. <laughs> it just... They come back. Mm -hmm. like yeah. a hotel like a California. California. No. Uh, it was the player. No one leaves that. my campaigns. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, no one leaves my campaign. <laughs> Not in one piece, at least. Do it Perfect. Steam. <laughs> tomato, tomato. I don't know. Broken up about it. Oh. I don't. Oh. I'm intimidated to sit here. Great. Killing players no. is the best. Gateway. You read my mind. All right, so. Well then, without further ado. Do we have anything to announce? We don't have anything to announce, do we? No, just the. Actually, we do have happy. something cool to announce. We're going to, um, oh, we do. Yes. You first, go first, yours is more exciting than mine. Well, th yours was good. Yours was good. So first of all, so we're gonna finish this cobalt thing maybe today, and then next week we're gonna take a break. But then after yeah, that, we're going back to Tuesday. So sorry, Gateway. All these times you jumped in because you have a game on Tuesday. Uh, right, we have to go back to Tuesday now. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Schedule, but in person, hopefully. In person. We're real close to opening up. 
in Just... person. Because today is the last day of self quarantine or distancing or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mandatory social distancing and into Sorry, your Gary. eating and stuff though too wisely i would say by taipei government is limited though still like that's not true doing that for like a whole nother week yeah we still... can just meet up with people so long as we're less than 10 which yeah. means that while our spirits are many we will still be able to meet up with each other yes. a very small group. <laughs> so when we come back wonton will be in the house yeah also they just the moved house. everybody just moved you might see new backgrounds behind everybody this is because <laughs> Everybody's We're close now. Woo! That's even better. Yeah. So, yeah, that's exciting. Shuffle. Everybody's oh, close. And then, I have an announcement. Oh, I was, okay, I was going to do it, but go for it. Oh, go ahead. No, you do no, it. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, this week, Pajamas Party guest is an awesome guest from D&D Beyond. Uh, we're going to have Millie Doucet, who's the community manager of D&D BDBD Boudou. Uh, of D&D Beyond, uh, sorry, <laughs> of D&D Beyond, and uh, so she'll be here uh, next Sunday, so join us and play some games and ask her anything about D&D Beyond. Uh, yeah. she's also, like why yeah, my dice rolls are so bad when I'm a player, but they're so great when I'm a DM. That. Please don't ask that, because they're sponsoring us, don't ask this, <laughs> because... <laughs> yeah, I rolled like five natural 20s in within like five minutes. Well, yeah. like our first opening on like Saturday. fight with on Saturday, and I almost yeah. did a TPK. Three times. Well, then if he if he's not allowed to ask it, could I ask why are Chris's <laughs> die roll so bad when he's a player, but so good when he's my DM? Yeah. Yeah. I guess I would also like to know the answer to that, as a kobold who recently just got his shit fucked up. Listen, <laughs> I mean, if I have to take it like that, that's what I prefer. So it's all good. Uh, all right, uh, all right, okay, and then I think that's pretty much it, time. except yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Be on the lookout for a new campaign starting soon. Ah. Also, I'm super excited for Strixhaven because it's like Harry Potter D&D. If you guys haven't read it yet. Yeah. Amazing Harry Potter D&D. Strixhaven. So it's the Magic the Gathering Amazing. universe oh. mm -hmm. imported into D&D, yeah. but it's all it's about a magic college. Strixhaven is a magic university. And you get to be in houses with colors <laughs> and stuff. And there's like even a Quidditch oh, game. Yeah. Hey, yes, Michelle. Wizard for the Coast, yeah. she's got it. Got my house. So excited. With it. Magic the Gathering. And Harry Dobby, Potter, of DVD. course. Dobby will be there. Dobby <laughs> will be there. Oh yeah, Dobby will be there. Not the Cobalt one, Servant. His <laughs> people were way too good to, for Dobby to it's be there. Good. Maybe we'll yeah. find out today. Let me roll this yeah. intro and see what happens. Hello! Hey, we're back. A long time no see me. So weird how we just sit around and do nothing when that plays. Yeah, <laughs> not talking about how pineapples eat you. <laughs> they do, but well, they're so good. Like oh. Chris said, we eat better though. So fortunately, we didn't talk about that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we just sat and did nothing. Tested our dice. So, where did we leave off? Oh, I remember. Oh, you tell us. I actually know. So we left the last game right after Biff had stabbed the last blue kobold in the brain. And we were just being gifted the horde by the real dragon overlord who came back and was really proud of us. Right. And I was like, by the way, I'm a red dragon too. So I was actually always secretly on your side. You guys aren't the same. I get it. Sure. I know what you guys are like. And also, 
Um, you are special, Carl. I've always known this about you. This was your secret what? trial. I, I don't remember that at all. <laughs> really, you're still in the denouement right now. Dobby's been arrested for something that we're going to find out during the trial. We don't know yet, but we know that it's something bad. They brought in a book which even was by, wild for kobolds. Yeah, we didn't even know that there was a written record because we can't throw it read. At <laughs> and uh, we actually don't know what happened. That's true. We don't know what happened to uh, Hick, but that's kind of in line with their whole thing. They were there, and then we turned around, and they weren't. And Dark, mysterious. There was just little effective. dog two footprints everywhere. And right. Yes. Also, you would be fall asleep while we yelling. Well, that's, that's what's really going dark. on in Clarl's mind, anyway. Damn it. As we look back into the rest, let's do a little <laughs> review. As deep beneath this small town of Helmsfield, unbeknownst to its inhabitants, lies the world's largest dragon's lair. This cavernous mega dungeon has been growing underground for millennia. Here lies the ancient dragon queen, Aramanthel Yavaraxina. Got it. <laughs> lies slumbering, <laughs> surrounded by wealth of nations and treasures of a thousand devoured adventurers. Here, her sinister plans for world domination are hatched. Here, her prized treasures are kept behind numerous arcane and mundane defenses. But maintaining such a place is a lot of work, which is why she has you, the kobolds. In fact, she has two groups of kobolds working for her. One in front of you, the red scales. And, of course, the better team, the blue scales. <laughs> Why Jared do you cover failed. My, why do you cover Jared, up my red you shirt? failed. Well, I said they played out. We're all red here. I'm dark red. You're <laughs> light red. As it's been pointed out, uh, one of our members is not actually wearing a red shirt. The reason for that is... A Biff's color... Well, <laughs> meta, meta narratively wise, Biff is colorblind. We just think he's too powerful to give over to the blue scale, so we indulge this fantasy he's that he is in fact red. red. <laughs> he's dark red, they're light red. No, we are all purple, like the way game is saying. That's true. You're all purple. Mm -hmm. all I think that that purple. is uh, Hueism at its finest. I'm not good at math, so one plus one does not equal purple. I, well, all right, sorry, Chris, go ahead. No, no, it's uh, fine. Well, continue. the queen, <laughs> the dragon queen, woke up. 10 days ago and took off without saying a thing, taking her salamander servants with her to do who knows what, but she hasn't come back. And riots have broken out underground as the blue scales in a panic try to take over the horde of the Dragon Queen and all of its magical treasures and in the process take over the property, the lands, the territory of the Red Scales. So you've decided to fight back. And so far, you're doing pretty well as you go through, even though warned by the Elder, who is only <laughs> one year older than Biff here, but still the Elder, Hick. the oldest one. Hick. Hick. No. Oh, older than Hick, that's right. As he tried to warn you not to take the Dragon Queen's stuff, well, you had to fight back somehow. So you've taken a basilisk. You have a giant spider as a pet. You also took an owl not... bear. Hmm? And the basilisk does hate us. We did leave him behind. Yeah. Because you Dobby, fell. I didn't. Dobby went to go That's talk to it. And Dobby's friendship making didn't work on a creature that they oh, couldn't that's right. look at in the eye. Not the basilisk, oh, yeah. the manticore, the manticore. <laughs> Could have been with the, the psycho. The manticore did, did, did come along. And our invisible Duergar, who is still totally, definitely following us. And not at all escaped totally. and wandered off to freedom. <laughs> I know. I mean, he's my best friend now. Elder, Albert earned his name as he helped me kill Bap the Blue. Exactly. In epic fashion. His name is Red Bastard. Never forget. <laughs> Uh -huh. Well, in the chaos, you've managed to make your way all the way through the chambers, picking up items as you go. You have some pretty powerful stuff. And as you enter in to the last chamber, that of the big pile, the queen's very own personal hoard, you open the doors. And what you see inside are hundreds of blue scales 
rampaging, rummaging across the place looking for any goods they can get, playing and just having a dandy old time as they pick up new objects going in. And before I describe this scene any further, why don't we introduce ourselves, starting with Jared. Well, hundreds, huh? My name, performing stage name, because Biff is a gladiator, is Biff the Buff. Uh, four foot two, so literally twice the size and twice the weight of, a kobold, of all the other kobolds around him. Just a very angry alligator on two legs. <laughs> um, with his sidekick and boon companion, uh, uh, the owlbear red bastard. <laughs> and, yeah, that's about it. Biff hits things, that's it. And doesn't do math or any other thinking. No, why would I? I hit things, they stop also moving. Also important it's detail. Great. Anyway, don't notice the slagmites. Move through the air with the grace of like a natural born athlete. <laughs> Just sail through the air. All right. It doesn't do much well. How about Amanda? Well, I feel like introducing myself at this point in time is a little bit superfluous because I'm sure that everybody in the audience has already heard of me at some point in time. If not on paper, then definitely in the dreams of the ideal monarch. My name is Clarl, the first, the greatest Esquire heir to the Silver Throne of Ice. And I may, in fact, look like a humble kobold, but I am part dragon, as noted in my superior lineage and hyper intelligence, my above average kobold looks, and even higher intellect and particularly in my spellcasting set that is specifically Ice Dragon based because of my bloodline. But don't be fooled. <clears throat> Everything that's gone right here is definitely my doing. <laughs> and I am in no way associated with the one known as Dobby, regardless of what you may hear them say. <laughs> and any point on this podcast, we do not know podcast. each other. <laughs> On this, on this, listen, I, I've never this been above the earth. Podcast. I've never been above the earth where we are right now. I don't know what that means because it's common. It all just floats together in my superior intellectual brain. <laughs> all right, moving on to awesome. Michelle. <laughs> the sorcerer. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, uh, I'm here. Yeah, and... <laughs> yeah, we have the same voice. We totally have, you know. Amanda and, Amanda and I current, you know, frequently inhabit both sides of a swamp mound and, and just fight each other. So he is, it's become tradition. But you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold those blue bolts. The blue bolts killed dog, and I'm gonna hold all of them accountable. Ooh, yeah. So that's why I'm here. Uh, technically, they are by extension also responsible for the death of Elephant One. Yeah, as we would never have gotten into this mess if it weren't for them. Mm -hmm. Oh, fourth hey, culture with culture. a huge raid. Yay. Hello, fourth culture. Yay. Hey, everybody, Yay. welcome back to Cobalt Night. How'd you go? How'd your uh, how'd your game go? How's Bob? How's Bob? What about Bob? What about Bob? <laughs> Is a, uh, a no? It's supposed once again. It, it's a goose. No, it's not a goose. It was supposed to be. Ah, I forgot what it was. But then, like, there was not the mini. Like, uh, Ramji said that they didn't find the mini. He didn't find the mini. So he had to use a goose. Like, what's close to a goose but more magnificent? Swan. Swan. No, I don't mean that. Like, something more like <laughs> DND. <laughs> what did you Magic all say? Swan? Okay, whatever. Ramji, you can take it. I don't know. If it's Ramji. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, whatever. Uh, just... Hey, Hans Nubi. How's it going? Let me just uh, Sorry, do this quickly. Yeah. We are just. <laughs> we just started. We just so... started. Thank you, Fizz Cannon, right. for the follow. We just right, started. We're so... just introducing, and yeah. I think I th we think we hit everybody in the introductions actually. So what? pretty good. No, 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 I love you all. Uh, you're kind of like my family now. Oh, I'm so happy that you're here. It's the perfect timing for the introduction of Dobby. <laughs> so my name is Dobby, and I'm so happy all the time. I love all my friends. I love Beef Jerks. and Coral and Heek. Oh, and then no. there's this voice above, <laughs> like, you know, like above the sky always telling us what we can do and we cannot do. And then I think I like that person too. I'm not really sure. So I have a problem. Apparently it's a problem, but I think it's okay. I usually get cut 
fingers and then I put them in uh, my enemy's nose. And right now, our enemies are the blue team. So you're with us, right? I know you are with us. I know you're gonna help us. Just give us a lot of points. Use your channel points and help us and give us plus one, plus two, plus three, because you love us, right? I'm just Dobby. I'm so friendly. You're my friend now. Don't leave. I'm concerned about the fact that said enemies now, like that can change. It, it has. That's well, worrying. remember why they're. Dobby didn't tell us why the blues are their enemies. Oh, yeah. Oh! It's because it's very I got my heart broken. Can you believe that? Dobby got. Dobby got their heart broken by a blue, amazing, beautiful cobalt. I was in love. No, like I mean, no. you all got your heart broken one day, right? You you understand what it means. Yeah, my like you broken. cry in your bed, you eat a lot of chips and chocolate, okay. and right. then you keep crying a little bit more. You watch okay. something cold. We don't have something like TV, except I just watch other people. Watch a book and just hope that it moves. Yeah, yeah exactly. I just watch people <laughs> moving and then, and then like, so I, heart, I got my heart broken and now I need to, you know what I need to do? I need to take somebody else's heart and put it in my heart. So I have two hearts and then my heart's not broken anymore. Isn't it great? So I'll have two hearts. It's like being in love with myself. Wow. <laughs> As you push open the door, <laughs> that's the red team has to offer. Yeah, you see veins of glowing crystal crisscross the walls, the ceiling of this enormous cavern. Their soft light bounces off the faces of milli millions upon millions of coins of every kind. Gold, silver, copper pieces cover the entire floor, forming hills and mountains of treasure. Amid the coins lie glittering gems, as well as chests shimmering with magic auras. You can already hear the loud yapping of the filthy blue scales beyond the first mountain of coins as you look up and see these rolling hills of gold. You see their figures skittering about, jumping from hill to hill, trying to pick up as many fancy things as they can and turn them against you, the red scales, as you come into the room. I believe, did you roll a stealth check last time? Yeah. Oh. So we let's roll a so do it now. stealth check. Sure, we did. Sure, we did. Time, but I don't think yeah. we did. Uh, <laughs> we can do it now if you. <laughs> awesome, Nara yeah. says, Dobby, I've been convinced by Dobby's passionate speech. Please don't kill me. <laughs> I won't kill you, no problem. I'll just cut your hair and your tongue what? and and then I'll you know, put it on my hair, and I'm going to put it on my tongue, too, and I'll have double tongue, and then we can talk to each other forever, right? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no? It's not how it works? This is oh, turning man. into ch no? Texas Chainsaw uh, Massacre kind of vibes. Oh, my God. Uh, it's, uh, it's friendly. It's a friendship. The barbarian oh, looks friendship. over and says, you need a light. At like a five, and you need to come back down to an A, okay? <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's all the cloud does. <laughs> what'd you guys roll for stealth? <laughs> all right. <laughs> an A. How many is five? 17. <laughs> That's a lot. 15? <laughs> yeah. Bobby is like invisible. 18. <laughs> Calm uh, how down, much? everyone. 18? 18. Wait, who rolled first then, technically? I did. Great. I need an advantage on that. Cool. I got a 17. 17, 17, That's 18, and? Um, Biff's rocking up with... <laughs> choo, 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 choo. 11. Biff shouted at Dobby, You need to go back, Dobby! Oh, you didn't have an end! One second, who rolled the first? Biff just yeah, got it. Biff just took it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. It's All not right. great. You, Moonbow, it was... They tried. It was spent. Well, <laughs> as you go though. in, actually pretty stealthily, pretty quiet. Unfortunately, one of the blue scales just happens to be right there, watching the entrance. And... Spots you out of the corner of their eye as they're going through loot. And I need everybody to roll for initiative and no. perception. Oh. 
So I need a big boy, uh, Chris, two things we need. I need a big boy for Red Bastard, and Red Bastard. Amanda needs joint custody of Biff and Red Bastard in. So you should Washington. have it already. Joint. Ah, fantastic. Uh, okay. They're a manticore so, handy. Bang. Oh my god. I hate it. I hate here's how big it is. Yeah, manticore. What is this? This is the owl bear. It's ready. Yeah, it's Manticore. Manticore. Got it. Yeah, I got him. We got him. And this we is your boys. manticore. We got him. <laughs> yes. I. Ugh. All right. As you push <laughs> into on, the room. This is really important. Go back. You see, on each of these <laughs> mountains of gold, groups of kobolds, the blue scales, dashing back and forth, trying to do stuff. What'd you roll in perception? I'll take 15 to 20 first. Perception? Yes. Oh, I have this advantage, why? Um, that's only if you're in daylight. Oh, okay. So Cobbled, uh, oh. don't have any favors done to them by the rules. So, <laughs> oh my god. We're villains. No, we're not. Zombie can see, zombie sees everything. 19. 15. 19. 7. 16. 16. <laughs> <laughs> Dobby, what'd you get? Sixteen. Sixteen. And what's I mean, your what's 15. your? I also got a sixteen. And what's your initiative? Eighteen. I'm so fast. Okay. And I see Biff didn't put initiative. What's your initiative? Oh, sorry. I didn't we did. put it. We just put our initiative in. Ah, uh, did not work. Are there two oh, of no, you? Sorry. Okay. Twenty-one. We got it. We got it. Okay. Dog two, damn. Dog two Dog two's is fast. Again, the most <laughs> confident member of our group. Okay. Seriously. Dog two has Light. been the best. <laughs> He is the best that the red skills have to offer. Well, seriously, how do they take this out? As you look around, we'll start with Biff, who got a seven. You see lots of blue scales, or maybe they're red, since you're colorblind. Who knows? No, they're blue. I'm not stupid. <laughs> I mean, no, actually, actually <laughs> honestly, beg to differ. I, the I other hate to two. Say this. You see it a little bit more closely as you look at these groups. Each of you, go ahead and roll a d8. Who? You two. Michelle, uh, sorry, no. Dobby and Clarl. D8? I got a one. My superior eyesight. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have a Best one too. That means we're like besties because we have the same Please. number. I, can I take a yeah. zero instead? As we all know, one plus one does not equal. Dobby, re-roll re yours. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Fate has spoken. One is mine. Four. A four. Okay. Well, Claro sees the one, the kobold that saw you. Uh, the reason he saw you is because he's sliding down at you quickly on a shield, sledding down this mountain of gold coins, aiming straight for you. Dobby, on the other hand, sees one of the hills over here. We have... <laughs> Here at the back, this one that's glowing. Yeah, yeah. There the you see circle? a blue scale who appears to be studying a small ornate dagger with a single brightly glowing emerald embedded into its hilt. He doesn't whisper very quietly as he says, this, this blade, it holds the power to give me what I want. I, I wish, I, I, I wish I was a real dragon. Oh. oh, shit. First of all, you don't deserve that. <laughs> but you don't know that. that. <laughs> and dog two. Oh, sorry. One more thing. <laughs> Carl, go ahead and make a insight check on the shield that's hurtling towards you. Me? Yes. Oh boy. My superior inside. Wow, I've rolled like three fourteen since we started. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, superiorly wise, I got a 16 because I have a plus two. Oh, that's how you use that Okay. Adverb. 16, you say. As you see the shield flying towards you, mark, you make out what seems to be a language. Not that you know necessarily, but that uh, seems to activate a magical rune, as you are fairly familiar with magic. No. Okay, never mind, then I have no idea. 
It's Elvish. That's all. But okay. for some reason, you know it. I have no idea. I know that's magic. With a 16. <laughs> and in fact, you can even make out the word. What's the word? Where is the word? <laughs> the word is... Vlanjia. It's the Vlanjia. The sword. The steel. Go get it. No. We need it. Okay. Do you say that? Say to him. Yeah. As you say that, you see as the shield that was sliding down like a sled starts to levitate. <laughs> and now you see the kobold on top of it, kind of like, ah, 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 as he's sliding down towards you, now floating down towards you quickly. Goblin. <laughs> and dog two, what are you doing? Uh, dog two is oh okay so so it, with my perception at nineteen I don't know anything. Oh sorry, dog two. My bad. Please roll a d8 two times. No, oh, dog two gets two. okay. Seven and eight. Seven and eight. So hick sorry hick gets yes. seven and eight. You see further down. Where is this? This is here. At the very back. Here. And here. These two opposite piles. On the first one, what you see as you pop into this area is two shapes darting back and forth swiftly above in the air on a flying carpet with Jousts. What is it? What was that called? A joust. Two Lance. kobolds. Blue Lance. 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 There we go. There we go. Two blue scales with lances on their flying carpet doing a patrol. They didn't seem to spot you just yet. On the other hill, you see a small, well made white marble stand sitting here. It's filled with a strange silver blue liquid that reflects the glittering of the coins around it. And now it's time it. to act. It's, yeah. Yeah. Your goal here is there are, sorry, one more thing. There's a lot to go through here as there's also tons and tons of glowing treasures around you. Ones with magical auras just imbuing the air around it and you can feel it without even having to do an arcana check. There's tons of stuff to take here. And your goal really is to just wipe all the blue scales out before they can mobilize. And now, That's true. dog two. So if you like, you can Whoa. try to grab a random thing and see what happens. Uh, <laughs> dog two. We'll proceed straight forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. About, I think it makes it to here. Okay. Um, is that close enough to bite him? We'll say yes. Yes, okay, excellent. So, so he lunges with his legs, like one of those alien uh, face huggers. Oh! <laughs> oh no. Four does a fourteen hit. Fourteen does hit. Excellent. So for fourteen in the first one. One moment, I have to pull up dog two. I am slow. Okay, giant wolf spider. Excellent. So we could. Oh, I know, right? Gross. Spiders. My oh, worst fear. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the bite is. Six plus one. Uh, three piercing damage, okay. and you have to make a uh, DC 11 con throw. Oh, all right. That okay. is a 17. Oh, dang it. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that it then that is four poison damage. Okay. Ooh, ouch. All right. Seven. Seven. <laughs> Ow. It sucks. Okay. It's a pretty bad spider bite. <laughs> it sucks to suck. I, I like to I like to think that, you know, it's dog two is just on his head now, like with, with his legs wrapped around his head. 
It's funny no. you said that you like to think about that. I don't. That gives me literal nightmares. Yeah, but nightmares. I guess I guess I'm glad it's on the <laughs> blue on goblin globals. This, your turn. Carl thing. Followed by, uh, who's that? It's Biff. Who's following? No, after you. Do. Is that the basilisk? Oh, is that the manticore? No. It's oh, the, the, did we go out of order? Hick. Oh no, that was no, the yeah, that was Hick. Hick. Hick is after. Okay, got it. You said our what is? our animal companions go after us, right? Yes. All right. How high off the ground is that shield boy? That's Dobby, I think. Right here. He's probably about he? only five feet off. Oh, so I could definitely reach him. Yeah. Attack. Cool. So me. And well, red bastard on history. So, at this time, I will screw it. We're, this is the boss battle. Reckless attack for my first. Uh, yeah. Yes. Or the dragon on the way. Up. Rage. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do this with the um, that good bopping axe from BAP. <laughs> um, uh, the so bad yeah. Bopping axe. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I get a damage because I'm doing this recklessly. The recklessly. All right. Does a 15 hit? Yep. 15 would normally hit. But he's on a shield. Oh, dang. The shield, <laughs> however, jumps to block and pushes your first attack away. Oh, All right. Weird. Well, that's my only one. Anyway, Red Bastard comes up here, too. The bastard is an owl bear. <laughs> oh, so he has multi attack. Okay. Sorry, bud. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I'm looking through all this stuff. So Too many tabs. No, no. Too many tabs. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um. First one is a beak attack. Okay. 25 to hit. How much? 25? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah, that hits. All right, cool. Take it. Um, a D10 plus five piercing. So, wow. The red bastard. Um, six piercing damage. Okay. Got it. Attack two. Um, attack two. The claws. Just one attack, so one target. Uh... Let's roll it again. Up uh, 22. Okay, yeah, hits. Oh, All right, so that's... Yeah. <laughs> that's 2d8 plus 5. On uh, 18. Eight, yeah, and this kobold, you can see <laughs> the shield just kind of like falls plunk onto the ground and stops glowing. Aww. And now is dead. <laughs> All right. I, can I use like a free action something to pick up that shield? Yes. Fuck yeah. What'd I get, boys? Good job. <laughs> what are you using so for a, a weapon? Uh, I'm using a great axe right now, but I can switch that out. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. More <laughs> shields. Well, like, yeah. I'll just stow it on the back and pick up the shield. Actually, so what happened to the shield leaps into the air when you activate it. Hovers mm-hmm. in your space to protect you as if you were wielding it, leaving your hands free. Yes. So good. So yes, you can kid. actually use your battle axe, your great axe, Fantastic. as the shield oh protects you. God. You get a plus two. Kind of like swapping between those. I think I stick with the necro. At bit, first, I but... said I'm sorry, but now you're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. It activates for one minute. <laughs> for one minute? Yeah, you can look it up. Animated shield. Animated shield. It's so good. So, that's your turn. Moving on. Two. Hick, f- followed by yeah. Dobby. Yeah, so um, I pull out my wand, my wand uh, of wonder. Wow. It is so what? It's, it's wonderful, and I cast darkness on uh, that group on the far wall. Let me click the button. Isn't it a random wall of wonder? Wanda Wonder? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I just rolled it, so it's dark. Oh! <laughs> Where is it? Which, which crew? Uh, on the back wall. How can I not Here? Hold How just... come I don't make a thing? Oh, the one that you saw? Is this the one? Yeah, the... One of the piles yes, that you please, saw? Yes, yes, right there. Okay. All right. 
You cast darkness as they're looking around. Yeah. Ah, ah, what's going on? And that is all. Okay. <laughs> oh, is there any place to hide near me? Oh. Oh, you could try and dive into one of the gold piles, like Scrooge McDuck. Oh, Scrooge McDuck, <laughs> love it. Okay. I will go and do that. All right, go ahead and make I'm a stealth check. <laughs> stealth check. It is a 23. Ooh. So well hidden. Okay. Very well hidden. Very scary. So now you see this, dar this glob of darkness, like, flying around, kind of confusedly now going zigzagging back and forth because they don't know where to go. <laughs> Hello, Jays. Okay, so that is your turn. Moving on to Dobby, followed by Clarl. Oh, hold on. What about your uh, basil 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 manticore? Oh, right. yeah, manticore? Sorry, manticore, the manticore. All right, so this was uh, discussed that we hate the, the blue, the blue bolts. One, two. The blue balls? Four. Blue yeah, gold. I don't like that sound, but. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna fly right towards this group right here. Okay. And I think that's all you can do. Dash. Okay. Dashing. Got it. As he jumps in, <laughs> the Manticore at least notices that he's disturbing some sort of ritual. Ooh. Or not rather, oh. not ritual rather, but it seems that they are climbing up on top of each other. To try and do something. No. But that's okay. Anyway. Mm. Moving so on. Green. Anyway. <laughs> so, um, how far is the group that the, the one that I saw behind here? Which one did you see? You saw back here? That's like yeah, see... maybe a hundred feet from you. Oh, hundred! Oh my God! Mm. All right. So I'll. Um... Uh, I don't know how to move it. I don't know. Like, I want to move thirty feet. But I don't know how 30 feet is, how far it is. 30 feet? Just follow the yeah. squares. So it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30. 20 here. 20 that feet. Here? Right here. And then, uh, because uh, I wanted to go there, but I guess they're in front of me, so. And then I'm gonna. Uh, there. What are they doing, these ones? These two? Make a quick perception check. Well, one of them has a spider on his face. Yeah. Oh, that's a good time. Not 20. Not 20. Oh my god. Ah. I see everything! Dobby sees everything! Actually, this is the one you saw, I believe, or... This is the one Which that one did I... Amanda saw, Clarl saw, as I'm a little... this one is now... Transforming into a blue dragon. No, no. Sorry, I this didn't one right here. Oh, I saw that one. Oh shit. Okay. So can I try to uh, say I'm gonna do command, and I'm gonna say stop. Okay. Stop the transformation. Sure. Stop. You don't have to do it. At first, I give a speech like. You know, like, uh, you gotta be yourself. Uh, you don't need to change. You're perfectly kinda, but don't tell my friends I said that. Perfectly fine the way you are. Dobby will accept you the way you are. So stop. And that's uh, command. <laughs> Wisdom. command. Wisdom save yes. for stop. a young blue dragon. Oh, four 14. Um, I'm sorry, I add my plus one. So 14. That's a 17. No, 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 nothing. What the? Ursa, no! hello! You are beautiful yeah. no matter what they say. Exactly! <laughs> Whatever. Help DM! What? Thanks, Game Game Game. Game. Another one! It's transforming. Another okay. One. It's already transformed, well, technically. Shit. But well, meme's still funny, I don't know. Well, I thought I could stop it. Alright, and then as a bonus action, I'm gonna do. Um, nothing! Okay. Well, it's okay. I mean, even if you're a blue dragon, um, we can still be friends. Uh, just give me the dagger after. I'll just become a blue dragon and we'll be two blue dra No, sorry. I never said that. No, you no, see no, no. as the dagger oh falls from its transforming hand into the pile, the gemstone now not glowing any longer. Oh, no. 
Okay, moving to Clarl. Oh, the great Clarl. I squire. <laughs> Uh, Clarl's gonna book it the hell- oops, I was trying to click. Uh, gonna book it the hell over here, which should be about 30 feet. I was trying to count the squares under the gold. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I believe this- this dude right here is in range. Um, I'm kind of hoping that by being here, I am out of sight of this whole nonsense that's happening. Okay. Um, cause Clarl <laughs> does not want to be a part of it. <laughs> And I'm just going to cast a Ray of Frost. Okay. Um, at this dude. So, uh, does not hit, probably. Does as an 11. Oh, unfortunately, hits some of the falling gold as this manticore stumbles up the hill of coins blocking your shot. Could I try to hide what? as a... As a bonus action. I know uh, that's a rogue thing, right? To do it as yeah, a bonus that's action. Yeah, that's a rogue thing. Sorry. And I just want to get down low. <laughs> he doesn't like go prone. Get low. But he just like. Get low. Yeah, get low, get, get low, low, get, get low. low. Okay, cool. We'll say you have half cover. Sick. All right. So. Pretty low for a kobold. <laughs> Moving on to Wait. the blue scales. The dragon soars into the air, uh, disappearing in front of your face. Oh. Fantastic, great. Well, he's out of here. Mm -hmm. He's got bigger fish to fry now. Absolutely. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. Anyway. And of does here. a victory lap around the room. I am a dragon, a real dragon, not like that claw roll in the red scales. Oh. <laughs> and the insult of Germany, you are red dragon too. <laughs> and he will continue to do a victory lap for the next oh round. Oh my god. Is the cobble at heart? <laughs> Say what? Cobalt at heart. Cobalt like at heart. Inside. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> take the cobalt out of the scale. Oh, that made me scale. lightheaded. So, you can't take yeah. the cobalt out of the scale. As Metaphor that happens, <laughs> the other ones turn to fight you. This one is dead, so he's not there any longer. Oh my. What's up? Let's see. Here. Okay. I want to fight. This guy, bye bye. This one is going to pick up a random item. Say, ah! Oh. And try to use oh, it. I'll do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh no. Like well, that. he picks up a random wand out of the pile whoosh, and swings it around, and you see as the blast hits something, just a random statue inside the pile of gold and he casts animate object on it oh <laughs> i bet it's fine um it's just a statue of like a shoe right or something it's not of course it's, <laughs> it's a statue with zero arms it's just a bust oh god <laughs> and no legs but for whatever reason it is now moving toward you uh. Where? Might as well be anime pestle. Pestle. Oh god. There's a Baba Yaga item for that. Oh my goodness. Baba Yaga's ordered pestle. I know, she's great. Okay, that is its turn. The other ones are going to continue doing their thing. They're not really concerned. This one is going to try and hit Dog 2. No. As Dog yeah, 2 is trying, trying to face hug it. Remember, you have plus 2 from Gateway Game. Yes. That. <laughs> no, no, Chris, no, 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 not dog two. It's not a time to celebrate. <laughs> that is a 18 to hit. <gasps> no. Better use those two plus twos just in case. It's true. Uh, I'm not sure 18 hits. You might want to just bump it up to a 20 now. Yeah. <laughs> a dirty 20. Mm -hmm. You see as it pulls thing. out uh. a fire blade. 
Oh my. It does. <gasps> you have too many weapons. Dog three. Eight points of piercing damage. Dog two is okay, right? Dog two is okay. He's and then it does 2d6 fire no. damage. <laughs> oh it's a flame blade. I know this yeah. one. I have it. Oh, <laughs> I rolled really low. That's three points of fire damage. Excellent. Thank you. Doctor is still alive, right? <laughs> oh, Doctor poor doggy. There's 11 points total. So he's uh, he's looking pretty gross, but, you know. <laughs> It is smoldering. All right. Yeah. The other ones. Survivor. It's incredible. Actually, seeing the manticore come up are excited. Like, yes! Yes! And even though they're not quite uh, <laughs> sure what the manticore is going to do, they're going to jump on its back. And you see that they've been trying to get something hanging from the precipice of this really tall pile of gold. And now, as they get up on the back, they can reach it. And they're super excited. Yeah. They pull it down. And then they start Can to fight over it. To try and get them off. Mm -hmm. One of them is going to fail and immediately turns to dust. <gasps> the other one's like, "Ah, you idiot!" It's going to try and it grab. It grabs this long, shiny object and also tries to attune to it, and also turns to dust. <laughs> ah! Okay. Shit! What the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm about to try and find it. Yeah! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> the ones in the back are just gonna keep doing their own thing. The ones in the darkness are freaking out. <laughs> there is one more there is one very important pile that you didn't see. Which is over here. Oh great. On this pile. Yeah, for sure. They're oh, playing that's the with one I thought okay. They found like what seems to be a very, very large tube. And they're trying to figure it out. They can't really understand what it is. Let's see if they do. Oh, that, great. That is going to be a no. <laughs> that one is also going to be. So they're just sitting there scratching their heads, like, I don't know what the fuck is it doing? I don't know. You, you <laughs> told me you know what it does. Ah, I don't feel. Well, you do it, idiot. Stop people, don't touch it. This one right here, however, there is one more. Oh no, there's there's a bunch more. Anyway, oh yeah, these ones over here. I forgot these guys right here. They so many are going to. They picked up a, even though none of you see this, they have seemed to pick up a vase of some sort, and they're now trying to rub it. I was afraid of that. It's, and they're like, it's so funny to Come to, to us, listen. come to us. <laughs> this, the genie's in this one. It's like a plain vase. It's just very expensive. <laughs> I think I could get it eventually. That's like the idea of like trying to figure out how to rub it, just. <laughs> okay. The ones in the very back, though, who knows what they could be up to as we move on back to the top of the round. With dog two, dog two, dog, dog two. two. Kill him. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Dog two is furious with his, you know, this, this, this bastard stinging his fire. fire. Yes. Rage. He's like missing a leg and his hair is on fire. This is terrible. <laughs> he does prepare rage. rage. So he's gonna Here. fight him really hard. For a 16. It hits. Yes. Uh, can you make a DC 11 con, throw, con save, please? Can you fail it, please? That is a five. Yes, yes excellent. Ooh, nice. Uh, wait a minute. Eight. Eight plus. A plus four is twelve. Is uh, did thirteen thirteen points of damage, and he goes down. Yeah, yeah. his sword That's dropping right. to the ground. Kind of sword. Can I see it from here? What kind of sword was that? It was a flaming sword. Like short sword, long sword, short sword. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say dog two rears up and you know with his with his front legs and and does a hiss. <laughs> Victory hiss. Victory hiss. And then char 
I know it's awful. I hate spiders, man. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, sk skitters off across to the next um, potential fighty spider. Fix them. It's the blue dragon. Where? Weird. <laughs> Wait, <can't... laughs> the dog blue dragon. I would be. I would change my entire philosophy on D and D. Yes, but no. <laughs> no, you must not. <laughs> Safe boy. All right. <laughs> Okay. Also, how many of those Manticore boys are dust, Chris? Two of them. Two. Yeah. Two out of the. There okay. should be. There should have been six here. So. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. Yes, sure. All right. Moving on then to Biff. Um, I'm gonna switch to my um, necrotic longsword. Okay. Uh, are you moving out of range for... of the animated object? Oh, it was right next to me. Yes. Oh, then I will stay. Throw something. <laughs> um, I, I will attack the object then. Okay. The object's your friend? No, oh. no, the other guy animated it. Sorry. I'm gonna use that with the axe actually too. Use it with the axe actually too. All right. Um, so let's hit this bad boy. Hit this shield. No, um, seven. Oh. Seven as no! you clank into this bust, you take ah. some chip out of it, but it doesn't seem to hurt it too much. Oh my god, I forgot about the pestle. All right, red, red bastard, here he comes. <laughs> First attack, beat Get attack. Get him. Um, 16. 16 hits. Yeah. Cool. D10. Uh, eight piercing damage. Okay, takes it. It's looking okay. a little bit cracked, but still going attack. strong. Attack two. Thirteen. Thirteen to hit? Yeah. Just hits. Oh, thank goodness. Two D8. Eight. Eight? Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Uh, eight slashing. Eight slashing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Anything else? Um, that's it for you, guy. Okay, Hick, followed by Dobby. Wait, oh. So Hick, he's yeah. hiding in the in the gold, but he does, um, you know, pull from his from his little cape cloak thing, the rod of arcane gate, rod of arcane gate. So I'm a, so he can cast the arcane gate. I'm assuming. Yes. Excellent. So how how uh, this blue dragon that's flying around the room? How wide across is he? And the, the young blue dragon is uh, large only. So if I if I create a portal that's ten feet across in front of him, would he fly into it? Would he fly into it? That's a good question. <laughs> Maybe. Like immediately in front of him, so you know he can't break. Okay. In time. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Go ahead and roll. So, What's your spell DC? Okay. Oh, interesting. You are a ranger. So that I am a ranger. Exist. I do have a spell DC. One moment while I look that up. <laughs> so, uh, other question. You know that other room that where that where Elephant won, he died in the acid pool. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so is that five hundred within five hundred feet away? Yes. Excellent. So that is where the exit of the portal is going to be. All right. <laughs> this one's for <laughs> elephant. What, <laughs> what is? So yes, my. <laughs> what is so the dragon's PTP measurement? Is thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. On its dex. I hope this works. It rolled a fourteen. <laughs> Oh, no. So you see, <laughs> as this one wait, wait. <laughs> appears in the here. sky, he go very. He dodges chaotic. it. Chaotic. Hold up. Oh, thank no. you, chaotic. Hold up. Is, a chaotic Is that for me? Platypus here. Is that for me? Anyway, no, but dodges wait. out of the way. Yeah, it doesn't change. Like yeah, that's right. It doesn't change. Uh, too late. Too late. Uh, pizza, pizza. Uh, for Hick. Okay. Well. For the next time. Hold that for later. Just in time. And now, while he was enjoying his victory lap. He turns his long neck toward you. He says, I'm a dragon, yo! 
No, no self-respecting dragon would ever say that. That's very stupid. <laughs> I right. would know. <laughs> okay, moving on. Unless dang it, we got the uh, the <laughs> manticore now. The manticore, fuck these boys up. The manticore, that's right. So I got the manticore. He makes a multi-attack. Um. So he basically with his fangs and stuff and goes to bite uh, the kobolds to his left. Why is that slow? 16. 16 <laughs> hits. Yep. Excellent. So that is uh, 7 piercing damage. Okay, got it. He's also going to claw the crap out of it. Okay. For 19. Yeah. And that is nine slashing. So with two quick strikes from the manticore, whoosh, whoosh, slashing right through what was a kobold once upon a time. <laughs> you just see it fall to tatters, blood splattering everywhere. So, uh, so he's got one more. He's got a tail spike. It's a ranged weapon attack. So he's going to fire that at um, the kobold slightly away. This one. Mm-hmm. Okay, yes. Yes, that one. Uh, four. Yep. Six. Six, unfortunately, does not. As the yeah. cobalt sees what <laughs> happens to his friend, he ducks out of the way, running. <laughs> ah! All right. And uh, he is going to take off into the air. <laughs> to nice. meet the dragon, maybe. Yes. <laughs> Dobby, <laughs> followed by Clarl. Okay, uh, so I'm here, I guess, to drive the blue dragon. So there was the biggest object around me, 60 feet around me. The biggest, the biggest object? Oh, one second, no, no. Where, um, is the thing that the cobble were touching, um, is it stuck? Or is it like, uh, The one up here? Yeah, up the yeah, dust thing. something up, yeah, the dust Make thing. a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, four. Four. I don't know. Nope. I guess. I don't know. All right. So I'm like. Hmm. Gold. Dobby's like thinking. Dobby, you must think. You must think. Oh, oh, I have a little bit of a headache. But I'm gonna use my <laughs> ring of telekinesis, and I'm gonna try to um, move that thing from the <laughs> ceiling against the dragon. Oh, you're gonna try and give it to the dragon? No, 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 like, kind of like... Turn it to or something okay. like that. <laughs> so you push this staff toward the dragon. I'm gonna make... I'm gonna try and get it. Oh, no. I'm gonna make an intelligence. No, no, no. Like, as, <laughs> no. as an... <laughs> yeah, I got it. I understand what you're saying. It is just a staff. Okay, let's make an intelligence check. Now that he's smarter. What? Is he, though? I mean, he's I mean, a dragon, but okay. he's really smarter. So you start swinging with this staff. It, I mean, go ahead and roll an attack roll. Okay. Uh, just a straight D, D20? We'll say dexterity. So, D, dex? dex plus your dex. Or dex, D20 plus your dex. Hey, Young Jinxie, thank you for the resubscription. Hello, how are you? Hello, Young Jinxie, give me advantage now! I need it now! (laughs) 18 is just what you needed to whack this dragon as this staff comes flying out of nowhere, (laughs) smacks him in the face. Go ahead and roll 1d4. That's it? (laughs) No, sorry, 1d6. Oh, okay, one sec. Uh, 1d6. Uh, (laughs) 3. Three. All right. Does three points of damage to the dragon. Think. And. Hey, throw that over here. I'm going to roll wisdom. Nope, that's not it. Oh, okay. Wisdom saving throw. The dragon considers taking this staff in hand. But thinks... You know what? I'm a dragon. I've already reached all my goals. I'm just gonna keep on flying and probably kill this person that 
tried to shoot me. And you didn't know when to stop. He's like, oh, <laughs> no, thank you. But now I'm going to eat you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as we oh, move no. on. Oh, advantage to the DM. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Thanks, Joe oh, Jinxie. <laughs> As we move on to Clarl. Um, where is Clarl. the staff now? The staff has now fallen to the ground right by Dobby. Oh. I can, can I grab it as a free action? You sure can. Are you sure? Are you sure? Uh, <laughs> one ticket. You have to tune to it, right? <laughs> or turn uh, it down. No, I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna grab it, not now. Are you sure? I don't know. You know what? No, I think Dobby would roll intelligence, right? A oh, wisdom? What is it? Wisdom, wisdom or intelligence? Wisdom? It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do it. What? No, oh, okay. Okay, no, no. What? Did I see? Did I see the cobble turning to dust or not? I guess it would depend on that. If I didn't see them, make then a it would perception be like, oh, just, check. Okay, we'll make I mean? a retroactive like, perception check here. If, you know what I mean? Like, just I think, I think chat really should decide. Being... Chat, do you think Dobby <laughs> should grab this powerful staff that has been turning other kobolds into dust? Oh, you know, you let someone else get nope. it too. <laughs> nope. Nope. Oh, nope. parallel nope. resistance nope. says yes, so therefore. Nope. Thank you, <laughs> Tanton said no. Tanton Tanton is no. a player. Tuton. No, no, Tanton is not a player. Tuton said no. Tuton so. is a player. Those are you. No, 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 so. no, no. <laughs> so what'd you roll on that perception uh, check? Oh, I didn't roll. Uh, <laughs> 15. Oh my God. Grab the it's staff and good. handle the blue <laughs> balls. Oh, he's right. Yes, Actually, his cannon. I took back all my comments on yes. Sherrod's phone. That's the right one. 15, you would have okay. seen the, them go up in ash. Okay, then I don't grab it now. Okay. It's a shame. All right. So, <laughs> as we move on, what do you, what else? You, nothing. Okay, got it. We are moving toward their turn. No, Clarl. Clarl, your turn. So, Clarl got this cool scroll from one of those last rooms. I don't remember where, but I do have it in my notes. I wasn't stoked about it at the time. But now he's gonna pull it out and uh, cast Time Stop on everyone around me. Oh. <laughs> Within a thousand feet. Within a thousand feet. <gasps> just take a minute. <laughs> Good Lord. So no time passes for anyone except me. And uh, nice. well, I have to take one D4 plus one turns in a row during which I can take Actions and move as normal. Okay. But so cool. Ends, if I, uh, one of my actions that I use during this period or any effects that I create affect another creature or an object being worn or carried by someone else. Okay, so this is a ninth level spell. What level caster are you? Uh, you know, a, a four. four. No. no. Is it the same? Is your caster level the same as your? Yeah. Your character level? Spells. Yes, because you didn't do multi-class. Okay. okay. I, know, I thought it was lower. Four. Four. So go ahead and uh, roll a d20. Okay, but I'm going to keep... I really want that one, though. If you rolled a d4. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I was really hoping okay. I could get that. What? Roll d20, no? D20. To cast a spell oh, level higher else. than your level, yeah. Do we add anything to this roll? Um... Now you got me thinking. No. Still casting ability modifier? Oh, you, I thought you meant it from the chat. Oof. Let's see, <laughs> so let's see. like you get no help. You Stop get nothing. So you lose. Oh, you, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, if you want to. It's just the DC plus the spell's level. Wait. You can, Wait. oh, hold on, let's see. You, you can use your spell casting ability, yeah. Oh, I got a 19. That is exactly Ooh. what you needed. <laughs> that is exactly what you needed. So for four rounds. Yes. No, no, no. Five rounds because I rolled a four on the D4. Oh, you rolled which a four plus one. Keeping it. It's one. So for five rounds, you get to move. Like bother anyone, which so let's just hang back as she gets 
technically thir- 15 actions. This just became Wait, the- Wait, what? I 15? mean, move, yeah, move, bonus, and standard action. Okay. I just yeah, gonna take, yeah, okay. yeah Jesus okay. Christ. Can we do it like faster though? Otherwise- Sure. Okay, I already, yeah. I've had a plan in my head for what I want yeah. to do. Yeah, wow. Okay, perfect. Go. So what Carl wants to do during this little like break moment, first of all, is flip off the blue dragon. That doesn't take my whole action, but it does, it's important. Then two, is there anything important or magical around me? So that's my first action. Yeah. I grab the magic item around me. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and roll a d10. So, d10, that's a, not it, da da da. Nine. A nine. You also pick up a wand of animate objects. All right, going to stick that in the belt, walk on over to Dobby and uh, examine what the hell that uh, Ooh, thing is. Oh, I just is. realized. Sorry, one second. I realized I forgot something that Dobby was flying the whole time. Oh, that's right. You are flying. Yeah, I totally I'm forgot sorry. I was flying. We've also got Since, a pack For one here. hour or something like that? Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh. But you, you okay. went back down to pick up your staff, so we'll say that it's in reach. Okay. Right. I want to first like roll. I want to figure out what that staff is to the best of my superior intellect. Sure. Make an Arcana check. <laughs> you still be good. Too dangerous. <laughs> what is this? Uh, mm, it's not above a ten. Not above okay. a ten. I mean, it looks like a really powerful this above staff. A five. Wow, barely. A very, Six. very useful, powerful staff. Interesting. Interesting. Again. Um, I like. I so want to take it. <laughs> okay. Um. Then I want to make a perception check to see what everyone around me is doing. Because these guys, but I think as I understand it, right? Like these these guys were trying to get the staff. Now that doesn't matter anymore. Yes. These guys were doing their like jousting. Yeah. You can walk over in the dark. In the dark. Oh yeah, they're in darkness, so it doesn't matter. These guys are doing a ritual, right? They appear to be. Okay, then uh, I'm gonna dash over there. Okay. And try and do an arcana check to figure out what that ritual is. So. I can roll that. Let's just see here. That's three. I'm trying to keep track. Mm. I had lined up in my head mm. <laughs> just in case. Oh, no, there's the not not a ritual. They are. Oh, no. Yeah, a ritual. Kind of. It's with the tube. No, or that's in the backpack. Oh, let me make sure which one it is here. There's so many. There's too many yeah, there's of them. There's so many pairs oh, yeah. of kobolds right now. They are. There's definitely a cleric. And you can tell by the mask of Tiamat that he's wearing. Seems to be trying to prepare some sort of help for the rest of his blue scale friends. No. Take the mask. So that so the object that he has is the mask? It's just over his head, kinda like a headdress. Okay. Um they don't have the item then. That's what's going on back here, right? Right. Okay, and where did I end up? Uh, I two actions left. I really only thought I was going to get two out of this. This is way more of a boon than Carl deserves. Um, pick up the stick. Yeah, I'm going to go back and I'm going to pick up the stick. She did it! <laughs> okay. She did it! Are you going to try to attune to it? Yeah. Yes. Yes, she says. <laughs> I feel like if I waited another round, could I try and identify it again? You won't be able to identify like it. What you will be able to tell Sorry. is how powerful it is. What and I can tell you what the level of risk yeah. is. What the level of risk is? I would say from your observation of them, I pretty high. I see people like fucking dissolve. Yeah. And I also saw a dragon whom I have zero respect for say that he didn't want it. So... I mean, as a PC, you probably won't dissolve. 
I mean, I did just get my intellect shattered last time. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> chat is like, uh, please don't turn to dust, but also touch the staff. So I, I have, hey, chat, I've got the staff. The staff is in my possession. Um, I oh, did, I did my last level spell. I don't have anything else. I'm gonna try to do it. it. Do it. I'm okay. gonna try to attune to it. Hello. Come on. If anybody was going to attune to it, it would probably be Clarl. The magic user, the caster. <laughs> Come on! The so, the please, Esquire. roll me a charisma check. I'm so scared. Charisma checks. I don't have advantage on charisma checks. I just... We've got a plus four. Let's go. Yeah, don't say anything. Knock on the wood table. Shh. Oh my god, I'm so scared. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> oh, a, okay, it's just a raw charisma check, right? Yeah, it's one from Kaylee Platypus, and there was. Oh, okay. plus one! Are there any other bonuses? <laughs> Chaotic Platypus? How's a 19? You needed. <laughs> only a 17. Oh, As my immediately God. you attune to this staff. By the way, we're using like immediate attunement in this game. As you immediately attune to the staff, you can hear it. You can feel the power within you. Because you indeed have what is called a staff of power. Oh my god. And it's really fucking powerful. You should check it out right now. <laughs> oh my god. Let me just read this. I'm just gonna read this because it's everything. freaking incredible. Yeah. Read it. Can it I gets... just take my last action to like dash over here away from the dragon? Yes, go okay. ahead. So you okay, get a plus two bonus to attack and damage rolls. Also plus two to armor class. This staff has 20 charges. It regains 2d8 for at dawn. Anyway, that's not important. Power strike. When you hit with a melee attack using the staff, you can expend one charge to add an additional 1d6 force damage. Also, spells. You can cast Cone of Cold, Fireball, Globe of Invulnerability, Hold Monster, Levitate, Lightning Bolt, Magic Missile, Ray of Enfeeblement, and Wall of Force. Or you can also do Retributive Strike. Retributive Strike. I just want to break it. And it you explodes. can break the staff and it explodes doing, well, a lot of damage. It is, in fact, 30 foot sphere of eight times the number of charges in the staff or well let's just say in the immediate vicinity yes <laughs> yeah blow that I dragon to hell let, let her I finish the what I want to do. is this is this the one that also has like the um the spell absorption thing too no ah. as time slowly clicks back into motion and everyone wonders why the voice of claral the beautiful sonorous effect is suddenly coming from the other side. They all hear him shouting, Off my toe, fungus, you overgrown blue newt! <laughs> That's <laughs> true. If you do light. break it, you also have a 50% chance of traveling to another dimension to a random plane to avoid the blast yourself. I don't die. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Citrus cool. Candy. All right. Oh my god. <sighs> all right. You're coming into our own, folks. <laughs> However, right. it is now. Red team's gonna win. <laughs> Did we finish their turn? Uh, no, we didn't. We didn't even get to their turn. That no, was Coral's we turn. I, yeah. I went insane. Now <laughs> it's their turn. <laughs> yes. And you see these two in the back finish <laughs> rubbing their genie, which turns yeah. out to not be a genie at all. As you see it. this. <laughs> This form seep out of this little bottle it seems to have been trapped in there for thousands of years. It is not a genie at all as this gooey form jumps, leaps into the middle and I don't have something to show. Hold on. What do we got here? Let's just use uh, one Gooey's of these. <laughs> Slimy. Stinky. 10,000 years. Gelatinous. I'll give you such a crook in the neck. <laughs> hey, is this thing on? I can I can like Clarol. Maybe R or maybe Clark. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> just gonna use this just gonna use a shadow because it's what I got. That's not nice. 
So, I don't like that. But there. Wow, this is like the best high I've had all year, and I just moved houses. <laughs> step oh, oh, that's no. a bit big. No. All right. As it pops into existence, yeah. moving quickly, <laughs> first cool fighting them. Let's see. They. Oh, yeah. Just roll here. Wow. Okay, well, they are engulfed. They are engulfed in its large body until the next round. It's like listening to the mechanic run down, like, what's wrong with your car? And they're just going, I don't know, bud. God. It's all bad. <laughs> However, the dragon scene, what's going on now, starts to go into action. No. As the staff disappears before its eyes and reappears upon the hill in somebody's hand, it is going to try and attack Claro. No, you're not. You're not going to do that. You have, you have to find out what spells you got, but... I know, I need to go look up the casting time of all those spells real quick. It's particularly one that does interest me most at this moment. Saitawan? The so dragon right. moves in. Glad d20. Oh, no. Hello, welcome! Hi, Tai Hao! Yes, very powerful player now! Who's gonna take control of everything? No. Okay, so the dragon makes a lightning breath attack to start as it flies in. You see this large strike of lightning come out. I need you to roll dexterity saving throw. Ooh. Um. Ooh. Well, it's not a crit fail. <laughs> Two? But it's... Is that number, Sylvie? Uh, no, oh. I, on the dice, is that number? Plus, uh, you know... Not enough. Not enough. <laughs> you the take... Handful of... handful. What's your What's your max health? I do power all the time. No, say it. Say it. 82. No. Oh, your, your max, max is 82? <laughs> what? Oh, no, my max. Oh, I was thinking, like, sorry. I was thinking the total yeah. twice. It's 41. Yes. Are you at 41 right now? Oh. What are you at? Uh, 34. Okay. Well, it's not so bad. You take 58 points of lightning damage as it goes into... <laughs> and... Immediately fall unconscious. Why aren't you dead there? You're not you dead. so hard to get that stab. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That is the dragon's oh, turn. After so much power. Uh, it, all of those spells take an action to cast, as it turns out. So. No uh, reaction spells. No. Damn. None. All right. However, Rats. you all see this that lightning blast hit Claral. <laughs> Where is As Claro Carl? falls to the ground here at the back, really hey. close to the Manticore and or to Dobby, kinda. I'm not really okay. Can I? Okay. Oh. But it's not, not your Dobby. turn. As we go through the rest of the other blue scales, I'm gonna see if these guys on the hill figure out what this tube is. That's a no. <laughs> That's also a no. They're really bad. Okay. The cleric. <laughs> of Tiamat. <laughs> oh, it's... Plus two, thank you. And plus two to saving throws is still a seven. How long and, does uh, the darkness last? Uh, good question. How long does darkness last? Chat, do you know? Uh, <laughs> one minute, doesn't it? One minute or ten Players minutes. Players really rely on chat only. I know, chat, right? do you know? Future vibes, like, do you know how long darkness lasts? <laughs> yeah, that is <laughs> so we do all day. <laughs> One minute, Moonbow. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> right. Okay, uh, got it. So, as uh, move in, I think that's pretty much everybody. These guys forgot what they were doing. It's not important. Concentration. They're just gonna keep. Eh, whatever. And we're gonna move back to the top of the round. No, oh, an, oh, I know, I know. These guys, the, the cleric that you saw of Ter Tiamat, I got him confused before, but it's this one. They're going to move up here. It's going to make a perception check. 
He sees Dobby hanging out in the middle <laughs> by herself. <laughs> Hello, Athena, you're back. Hello, welcome. Hi, Athena, all friends. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Dobby. <laughs> and you see One. as Aram, the cleric of the Blue Scales, yeah. says, Dobby. Yes! Somebody called my name! You've come back to me! Oh, I did. oh my god! <laughs> I can't see me looking you. Why did you leave? But we can be together forever now! One second, who said that? The cleric? This is the one that supposedly broke your heart. Is it the cleric? Yeah. Yep. Oh my god! <laughs> Dob I mean, it's not my turn yet, right? Not yet, because we move to okay. the top of the round. Dobby's, Biff! Dobby's eyes are glowing no, no. like shit. What happened to this? Oh, no. Dog 2. Dog 2. It's dog two. Uh, so dog dangerous. Two. He's either going to run into their arms or stab them. I mean, you got to do both. Okay? Dog 2, what are you doing? <laughs> dog 2. Dog 2, uh, you know, does the skittering, skittering, and then leap for the guy in the back. Okay. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Good God. Ooh, 20 dirty. 20 Ooh, nice. dirty. Which one? Is this, this guy right here? Yep. Okay. Where is Dog 2? I, didn't I just move him? He's I disappeared. I can't see him. Oh, he's, he's, oh, he's under. <laughs> he's oh, in my clothes. Okay. He's under my skin. <laughs> 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 oh. All right, so. Uh, 11, con save, please. 11. Uh, he gets an 11 plus 1 or 2. Dang it. Okay, that's alright. So we got uh, 7 plus. So that is 9 uh, damage. Okay, this one was hit by the Manticore before, right? Oh no, it dodged out of the way. That's right. That one yeah. dodged there. So, okay, got it. 9 points. Perfect. I got 6 juke moves. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Okay, moving to Biff. Um. Gonna take another great axe attack on this guy. Okay. Um. Why not? I'm gonna do it recklessly too. Wait, no, my Albert's there. My Albert, we said, is an oh, ally, right? Sorry, I forgot to do the animated object. My bad. It's gonna oh, swing oh, at no, you quickly no, with advantage because you did reckless attack. Well, I didn't do it last time. Oh, okay, okay. In that case, doesn't do yeah. advantage. That is a yeah. nope, misses. Okay, back yeah. to you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Rough. Um, my Albert is an ally, right? Yes. Cool. Pack tactics rolled with advantage without reckless. <laughs> That's gonna connect. I'll definitely connect. Has a dirty 20. Definitely hits. Okay, cool. Oh, a d12. Golly, five damage, but he has to make a DC 16 strength check. Uh, nope. That's a two. So push back 10 feet. Okay. Got it. Nice. Get him away from you. Mm hmm. Get out of my life. Yeah. So then. I'm going to use my action to move over here. And so is um, Red Bastard. Um, we're, Red Bastard's going to attack that caster. The guy with the wand. Okay. Oh. Eat him. Eat him. Well, 21 Please. hit this poor, poor cold. Eat him. Eat him. Definitely. <laughs> All right. 13 damage. 13 piercing with the beak. Okay. You see him Walk. hanging on. Nope, you don't see him hanging on. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, drops the wand. <laughs> cool, he drops it. Um, uh... and the bastard's also going to use the rest of his Go back over to that. Um, does the animated object stop? Uh, no. Just the cool. spell. He's going to go over to it, too, and use his last multi-attack to hit him. The Look claws. Okay. Oh, God, so close. 26 to hit. So good. All right. 19 on the dice. Yeah. So close to that delicious crisp. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. Um, 
14 slashing damage. Okay, ouch. Got it. Okay. Anything else? Everybody. That's it. That's it. <laughs> okay. Moving on then to who we got? Hick. Hick, followed by Dobby oh. and yeah. uh, Manticore. So uh, Hick is in the gold. Um, what does he find <laughs> in in the gold? <laughs> in the Anything gold. interesting while he's swimming? <laughs> Yes, go ahead and roll a d8. Excellent. Okay. D10, sorry, my bad. D10. Oh, sorry, d D10. All right. That is a six. A six. You find a very ornate set of cards. <gasps> no. So I, f I found them. Is that my action? No, that's a free action to pick it up off the ground. Hey, hey, can I, can I retroactively do that too? I want. No, <laughs> sure. Get yeah, it, sure. Her, get it. Um, yeah, go ahead with fifth first. Yeah, D10, right? Yeah. Okay, I will not do anything with whatever I find, but I just wanted to like. Really sure. Funny. I got a five right in the middle. You got a five. five. <laughs> Phoenix, hey, it's written into the game. I can't change it. So, D a five, you say. Yeah. You get roll one d four. Interesting. Three. You get three beads of force. Ooh. Oh my god! Good. Have her back to bit hick over here. Oh, you yeah, find this very what, what, ornate deck of cards. What the fuck? Is, what is? What the fuck is this shit? And then he draws one. <laughs> Do you happen to have a deck of cards handy? Uh, Welcome. I have one right here. Oh, okay, all right, right here. Okay. Welcome. You tell thank me. You, thank you so much, Chris. Where to pull? Hello. No. Oh, holy cow! Roll for oh. damage. Hello. Yay. Thank you. How was your game? Yeah. Sorry, we're right in the middle of pulling a deck, a uh, card from the deck of many things. Deck of many things. Oh, it's a Humblewood game. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Hey, Josh. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, Dobby's so thank happy you. that you're here. Thank you, Shannon. Oh, Dobby's going crazy. No, no, no. Dobby's okay, I gotta tell our friend I don't like from Australia, roll for oh, damage. No, this First, is great. we have awesome so games. Great. Guys, 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 we have a special guest here. We have a lot of friends from roll for damage. So we have to say hello to them and say that we love them and they have awesome games. I think they were playing Humblewood before, right? Just I before. I've heard of Humblewood <laughs> a lot. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Humblewood yeah. is cute. Yeah. We played a really cool game with Phoenix Iwaki, who's also in chat. We played a Humblewood one shot. It was super fun. Phoenix. And now somebody's, somebody's gonna pull something from the deck of many things. Yes, That's please. Right. Everything's gonna be fine. Hick, tell me fine. which way you're leaning. This way or this way? Nah. Stop here. Yeah, right there. That okay. way, yeah. Oh, I don't think this is a bad card. <laughs> yes. The you chances. Pull. Thank you. That was, uh, okay, so you pull. Oh no, it's the old... Nope, that's not it. <laughs> this is nothing. Bad. You get a business card. Okay, you gotta get the, the closest, it's the closest one. It's the blue one. dragon that was just created. Oh yeah, no, I already separated them, I already separated them. Here they are, got it. Okay. You pull the ace of spades. This is what I mean. Thank the you, dungeon. and Buffy. The donjon, if you will. Oh, I don't think that's a good card. Oh. Not the one that. Do I do I get sucked into? Is that the one that takes all your shit? You disappear <laughs> <laughs> and become entombed in a state of suspended animation in an extra-dimensional sphere. Everything you were wearing and carrying stays behind in the space you occupied when you disappeared. You remain in prison <laughs> until you are found and removed from the sphere. You cannot be located by any divination magic, but a wish spell can reveal the location of your prison. You obviously draw no more cards. 
Um, oh. Can we can we just like flash back to like one round ago where we're like, oh, wow, the tide's are really turning. I think we're going our way. Cut to one round further. Someone's dead. Someone's lost forever, probably. <laughs> Someone's found their lost love, maybe questionable. Might turn. We don't know. Well, I'm he's the furniture. He's the furniture. <laughs> Dobby has it all. Dobby will save the world. Luckily, Dobby will save everyone. Dobby, Dobby saw. Save everyone. Dobby saw exactly where that dagger dropped. The dagger of wishes. Dagger. Of Are you luck. Going now? Perhaps. Just perhaps. Oh. Okay. Anyway. Does the Manticore have... still go? Manticore, your turn. Oh, Manticore still goes. Or Excellent. Michelle could just be a Manticore for the rest of the game. It's all good. I could. I could totally just be a Manticore. It's really not the worst option I mean, that like, you have. It's kind of an upgrade, more of a lateral move. Well, because Dog 2 and Manticore are two of the powerhouses that <laughs> keep this team going. Plus, you really see a PC. Yes! Okay. So, so does Manticore. Manticore. Hit him in the eyes. Flaps his way over to the, uh, to the to the young dragon. And goes for the eyes. Yes, goes for the eyes. Always go for the eyes. Okay. Uh, then... Actually, what I'm going to do is before he even gets there, he's going to fling one of his tail spikes. Okay. Oh, but does that hit? Does this 15 hit? You see, as the dragon deftly dodges out of the way <laughs> as the spikes go past oh, yeah, in the air. One hit. Still deftly dodges oh, out of the way. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay. And then it, they, he, he latches on, and he tries to latch on to the young dragon for to bite him, and that is a nat one. Oh no. <laughs> oh guys, I think things are really turning around. <laughs> I'm really excited, I think we've got a chance, but less. Oh, one so more, one more. It's because she got it, uh, we got some pets before. Yeah. Oh yeah, That's Jay's. Why. So they went around, yeah, they, they got said, an they owl bear, a manticore, a, a duergar. My best friend! Here. Is it He's totally still around. And yes, I know. an elephant that fell into a big puddle of acid and died. We always remember mm -hmm. Elephant One. They did their best. Did their best. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Flailing oh, Forward. And, and Buffy. Um, Thank you hey, for the hey. follows. Um, um, sorry. Tell me. Um, so. Sorry. I'm back. Okay. She's back. <laughs> Dobby, <laughs> your turn. <laughs> Oh, actually, yeah, he's got he's got one more attack with the oh, claw. Oh, one more attack, okay. Uh, and a twenty-one hit. I does bet. hit? Yes. Does it? Does it? Does yes, it? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And that and that is nine slashing damage. Okay. Flashing like flash. Slash. Yes, oh. Totally, totally flashing. <laughs> flashing damage. <laughs> Boom, baby! We got one on the Cusco. Go flash some blue balls. Oh my god. Okay. Moving yes. on to Dobby. Dobby. And then Clara. Okay. All right. Where is I the dagger? Know where it is. Huh? Where is the dagger? The Please dagger swim. is right here, right where the dragon stopped. Oh, I'm just nearby. What? Yeah. Really? All right. So there's the love of my life. So for Correct. people that are just joining this, the dragon, the young blue dragon, isn't actually, well, it is a dragon now, picked up a dagger, <laughs> a special dagger, and made a wish and became a blue dragon. He was doing victory laps around the space until somebody decided to shoot him for some reason, and now he's attacking. Well, to be fair, the one that he attacked did not shoot him. That's true. And I probably hurt his feelings, and I did take the thing better than he did. That's true, you did. That's true. All right. So, uh... <laughs> Dobby, you see the dagger. So, can I just take the dagger? Yeah. Yeah. Move to it, though. <laughs> Uh, so I take it. Where is it? Where am I? I hear. Dobby's like skipping and stuff, Thank and you. I don't know where it is, but I just grab it. Uh huh. It's like, yeah! <laughs> and then I remember that the love of my life, cleric of Tiamat. Are you saying that you love Dobby now? No reaction. It means you don't love me. <laughs> Just me. Sorry, you're, you're talking to the, you're talking to somebody while picking up this dagger. Can't I do that? I can multitask. Okay, Dobby sure. Can multitask? Yeah, sure. He looks at you. He's like, Dobby, why did you leave? I don't understand. We had something great going on, and you just left. 
Oh, what a story. How did I break your heart? <laughs> you broke my heart. Obviously. You were did I? You. <laughs> it is possible. After all, so many people love Dobby so much. I might break hearts without even knowing it. <gasps> oh my god. No! I have to attune to all of that. Uh, this is this is really wrong. I look at the dagger I have in hand. And then you Is see it glowing or one not? One of the gems glowing. It is oh. glowing. <clears throat> what should I do, dagger? What should I do? I broke people. I broke people's heart. Maybe. What should I wish? How does it work? Should, do I just say it or do I just Come think on, it? Man. You can say Come it if you like. I say it. I wish the blue cobbles <laughs> were gone. Exactly. I wish them gone. Hey, solid I citrus. It wish... is just a dagger Dobby sees before them. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that. Oh, I don't know. I have so many wishes. Clara is on the floor. And. Clara was alive. <laughs> Poor baby Clara is dead. I don't know. Dobby doesn't know. We wish maybe... we knew where Hick was. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> oh, it's true. Just wish the blue. Wish the blue. Oh, maybe. Dead. I should just wish that we're all blue. friends. Oh, I think this is Dobby's best wish ever. Oh. I yeah. wish that. No! Every single being, <laughs> every single being, are my best friends. <laughs> I purposely fail my death saving throws. <laughs> Everybody's my best fail friend. Us. Everybody loves me, <laughs> and everything will be all right in the world. This is my biggest world. wish. Oh my god. Oh no. Okay, well. I mean, it aligns with me. So, I will be back with Cleric of Tiamat. And uh, nobody would have a broken heart if I ever broke somebody's heart. So, what's their name? Everybody's my best friend. What's their name? Doesn't matter. The room. Cleric of Tiamat. The That's room. Best friend. Suddenly goes quiet. Oh my god. As the magic <laughs> being pulled from the weave in such enormous amounts of energy swish through the cosmos towards you and toward everybody oh ever that ever existed. Oh my god. <laughs> the whole room comes to a standstill. <laughs> Jesus Christ. As everybody looks at you. Not everybody. Except for Clara, I'm who's dead. unconscious. Yeah, and Clara <laughs> does not look. Clara. <laughs> oh, does, does he come back? No. No. You no. wish for that. Yeah. You wish for that. But, but Hick, but somewhere, in an, <laughs> yeah, in an extra-dimensional space, yes, somewhere in the middle of nowhere, is feeling the love for Dobby. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody is like, Dobby, I'm your best friend. Oh my god. And then you see them turn, it's like, no, I'm her best friend. No, I'm her best friend. No, I'm her best friend. And they start to attack each other. And once again, there is a fight going on. But everybody's fighting each other now. As the dragon swooshes down, starts attacking the other blue scales, the other ones start attacking everybody. And we're back on. Clarl. I need you to roll a death no, save. No, no. So, um, now, Clarl, this magic was so powerful that it did reach to Clarl even beyond the grave. And it was that magic and the force of compelling Clarl to magically become best friends with Dobby that compelled Clarl to roll a nat one. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's only two. Yeah. We still have one. <laughs> so we'll see I what happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is insane. Jesus. 
<laughs> I don't know, you were describing everything and I rolled it because I was like, I'll just get it out of the way. The Elder Scribe. Hello, Elder Scribe. Thank you very much Hello. for the raid. Elder Scribe. Hello. I know why you're here. Oh, the Elder Scribe. He's your best friend. I know why you're here. You're I know. It's because I just cast a spell that everybody in the entire galaxy would be my best friend. Cast a wish. So now you're my best friend and you're here. I'm so happy. Everybody gives a lot of love to the Elder Scribe. Please give them a lot of love because they're Your my best friend. just rolled the dice and got an 82. All right. What's that? What's the 82 on the Wand of Wonder? I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to read it. And Sorry. who are you <laughs> casting it on, Moonbow? Mm -hmm. I'll describe how was your game, by the way. Invisibility. Oh, you have advantage in game. You have two advantages, DM. Yes. No. All right. Invisibility to the dragon. As we oh. move to the dragon. Yes. Invisible now. Now hold on. Is it greater invisibility or just invisibility? Because then it's going to disappear as soon as he fucks someone up. Someone who consistently has shitty invisibility. <laughs> I'm Roll 82. aware of its limitations. Roll 82. <laughs> okay. Invisibility I mean, on the Google. dragon. The dragon is now yeah. invisible. Oh god, it's so good. And this you see, as everybody, part. Dobby, is working their way to give you the biggest hug ever. <laughs> Including this big the, slime and the dragon, the who is now invisible. <laughs> oh no! Rushing, in fact. Oh, these guys. Oh, by the way, on their, on their, on their state. Sorry, on the start of their turn, they take. I think it was twelve d eight. Let me see. Let me just what? quick. Oh, that's basically more than any kobold has ever. Mm -hmm. I think they take. Definitely me. I'll tell you what. Okay, you will. Oh no, it's just 12d6. They take 12d6, 42 points average of acid damage, yeah, and they are dead. As they yeah. are dissolving <laughs> inside this thing's body, it's running towards you to give you a nice big hug. Because it loves you. <laughs> God, I want to sit next to it. <laughs> as well as the kobolds and the dragon and the manticore. Simple dragon. Jesus Christ. And everybody. Oh God, hey, hey. <laughs> Except for dead. Not the dead kobold next to me. Not the, and not me. Like, the two get... dead kobolds in the room move nowhere. I guess I'm there, but like. <laughs> Is it like a hug attack? <laughs> Thanks, Might Aldous Scribe. Might be, it's gonna turn into a dog pile. Uh, I appreciate it, thank you. So. The dragon comes in first, and nobody can see it at first. <laughs> but it sees everybody else, and wants to protect his best friend. It's going to try and slash at this thing that's just killed two of the kobolds without a, without a scratch on it. It's going to try to attack it. Okay. Is uh, Beef also running toward me? No. I'll have you guys, the players can roll a wisdom save to see oh, how friendly. addicted they are to Dobby's friendship. They are addicted, but how to addicted Dobby's they addiction. are. I love you, Dobby but addicted. too much. What? No. Hey, sorry. What did you say, Sylvie? <laughs> Dobby addiction? <laughs> no, hey. 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 <laughs> I don't want a Dobby Dictionary and all these blue bolts. So, <laughs> especially that with, with, with Carl swinging around his staff of power. Just, so like, just roll the fucking dice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's the save on this, Chris? Wisdom. You just well, like, roll it. Let's we'll say it's a. Say we'll say it's a. What's your what, Dobby? What you got? What you got? Thirteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. What? I'll save DC. Save DC. <laughs> Reality warping power. DC 14. Uh, 13. 13. 13. Good luck. Fucking race to the bottom here. Uh. Oh. Biff has never realized how much he cares truly and deeply for Dobby. Biff is running as fast as he's ever run in his life. He's been bonded. All right. The dragon ends up doing about 70 oh, points of damage to this thing as it just <laughs> takes it. Jeez. Oh. Okay. The other kobolds oh also pick up something as they move along. Gifts for Dobby. <laughs> One of them gets 
Oh. A portable hole. One of them gets Ooh. scroll of disintegrate, which immediately tries to use on his friend. Another one oh. gets a dancing sword. This is dangerous to that be starts best floating friend, around. This dancing sword starts floating around, chopping up some other people. And you see, I'm not even gonna roll for this. You see, is three kobolds fall in the process to get to Dobby. Oh my god. Wow. I oh killed goodness. a lot of people. Being Where is friends Claire with you? Of Tiamat? Right here. Wait, what? Bobby, being friends with you would get someone denied health insurance. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the best way. See? This is the best way. Okay. It's only taking care oh, of my problems. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Anyway. Oh, I think I missed something in there, probably. Anyway, but hey, whatever. It's your turn. Going Never back to the top of the round. Wait, 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 wait. Question. Does the statue also feel affection to the... <laughs> the statue feels nothing. <laughs> oh, my God. The statue feels nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just running because everybody else is. Statue feels nothing. Dog, too. Dog what'd, you, too. what'd you get on your wisdom save? <laughs> dog Tooth's wisdom save is... Hey, na it's just the natural 18. <laughs> dog Tooth does not fall for this again. Yeah. Doesn't care so much. Dog Tooth just feels extreme devotion towards his master, you know, wherever he That's went. That's true. Wherever <laughs> he went. <laughs> Silent tear rolls in his cheek. My best friend is in here right Yes, Carla resistant. Dog 2 is eyes. loyal to Hick. Loyal. Just loyal. Okay. We would say loyal to Loyal. Loyal. <laughs> okay, so Dog 2 jumps on the nearest kobold and, you know, con con continues the biting situation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright. Go ahead and roll. 17. 17. Uh, 11, con save. Uh, he's already gone. He's, 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 oh, okay. good. he's good. He's good. He's already gone. I love it. <laughs> okay. This dog too silently weeps and bites. Moving on to Biff. <laughs> Alright, Biff. Hug. Angel hug. Wait. <laughs> You're gonna be safe next to me! Don't worry! I don't think that's true. I think that's the least safe spot right now. Uh, reckless hugging. Fuck <laughs> up that dude. Question. Hug. Uh, sure. Question. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> blue dragon. Will it fill? Will it? A young blue dragon. Will it fill a space of a twenty-foot diameter circle? Yeah. yeah let's see here. Yes. What do you have? I mean, it could. Uh, no, actually, the biggest it can get is 16 feet. So almost. So well, definitely, yeah. Would you? Would it fill the full entirety of it? Is that what you're asking? No. So it's a 10 foot radius sphere. Yes. And it'll be most of that. Yes. The sphere of transparent force then encloses the area for one minute. Any creature that failed to save and is completely within the area is trapped inside the sphere. Oh, so it will be stuck oh, inside. I understand it. what you're saying. Got it. Yeah. Yes. If Thank you, Phoenix. Burgeoning, if burgeoning beast master. Wow. Um, oh, stop the bees. <laughs> didn't mean to there. Um, is gonna throw his Cat, pokeball, stop. aka a bead of force, at the dragon. <laughs> Woo! Okay, the dragon fighting off the very vicious slime. Got it. Oh, just saying, Chris, you have plus three and two advantages that yes. you haven't used. Thanks, chat. So... Thank you very much. No, no, yeah. thank you. No, you have to give it to Dobby. <laughs> uh, I'm not affected by the spell, all right? <laughs> Stop. Uh, so. Dice, what is that to roll? <laughs> Dobby spell. Oh, okay. Dobby's oh, dice, Chris. <laughs> What's the saving throw? Biff, what does he have to roll? Oh, DC 15, dex. Dex. 15 dex. Mm. Uh, that is a 17. Well, <gasps> shit. <laughs> you don't even need help. All right, so you throw one of these beads of force to try to get the dragon away. You see as it explodes into a sphere. Uh, that manticore is right next to it. Oh, so, well, so is the ooze then too. No, but it's not fully in the sphere. Well, it doesn't have to be. It's just within sphere. ten foot radius of it. Okay. At okay. that point. So the man. Those, 
Okay, the Manticore <laughs> definitely beats it. Uh, yeah. The ooze does not. All right, so 5d4 force damage. He's not in the surrier, but I can still hurt him. 5d4? Oh, 5d4. I thought 5d4. Yeah. 5d4. I like 5d4. Pretty good still. That's 4. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bitch. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. 15 force damage. Nice. 15, okay. Got it. Mm -hmm. 15 uh -huh. force Sorry, damage. Like yeah. No, it's fine. Oh, fine. It's pretty good still. I think it's pretty good for D4s. It's mm -hmm. really almost max. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, um, Al uh, Albert is going to keep working on that statue. And moving towards. Uh, 10 beak. Is that going to happen? Is that hit? Is that hit? 10 on what? Statue. On the statue. That feels nothing. Unfortunately, no, yeah. <laughs> the peak the, does not. All right. Here comes, here comes claw attacks. No, same thing. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, and I guess we keep moving then, too. Yeah, to Dobby. To Dobby. What about Biff? What does Biff do? One, two, Biff moved to Dobby. Five. Biff, Biff threw yeah. the thing okay. and moved at Dobby. Got it. Yeah. He's there now. We moved to Hick, who is stuck in it. Interdimensional <laughs> plane of existence for the rest of eternity. Because We're Dobby. <laughs> well, I mean, Maybe technically, it was it was Hicks for. It was self inflicted. <laughs> it was self inflicted. So it's Hick true. is just Wait. in his pocket, in his in this weird dark space, just ah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> By the way, <laughs> Hick did Wait. drop the cards really close no. to. Uh, oh, nobody. Oh, I, oh to I, the I statue. Think I, like I think I used like 15 feet of movement. Okay. Yeah, Hick, last known location was right here. Oh, there? Yeah, sorry. Can I wreck all that? I want to take all those cards. Well, <laughs> if you had saved the you wisdom throw. Free. You gotta make that pass that hug wisdom safe. Well, hey, okay, Intrepid, fine. good morning. I made it through Dobby. How are you? <laughs> Hello. Finally Did caught one of our me? late night shows. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Late night special. Late night special. Things Early morning special. Shit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Things have got a little bit nutty here. So <laughs> the massacre saving throw, uh, whiz save is eighteen. Okay, great. So he's still gonna continue to fight. Yes. <laughs> the dragon. Okay, the dragon. Okay, go ahead and roll to attack. So the oh the tail spike fails because okay. melee disadvantage. And then uh, bite for 17. Does that hit? It does not, unfortunately. Okay. And claws for. Good night, Phoenix. Thanks for hanging out. Hey, bye. Good night. See, Good night. Dirty 20. See you on Thursday Good for Out of the Abyss. Yes. Dirty 20 hits. Dirty 20 hits. Excellent. So that is. Mm -hmm. Uh, six oh, sorry. Hold on. Before you go, we forgot. Did we do a shout out? <clears throat> Check out Phoenix Iwaki's channel. Yeah. Phoenix. Phoenix. Phoenix is rock. Wait for it. Yes. Phoenix Everybody is in have to do a save Japan. Also in the very close to us here in Taiwan, and they stream almost every day as well. Yeah. A lot of days. <laughs> really a lot. Check That's out awesome. the channel. Yeah. All right. <laughs> So. So six damage from the manticore. Got it. Okay. Still looking pretty hardy as a young blue dragon. Well. Okay. Anything else? Nope. That's uh, it from the manticore. Okay. Just want to reiterate: there is a very big, long. I shouldn't say it like that. Tube. <laughs> glistening. <laughs> <laughs> on one of the tops of the hills, right here, in fact. Right here. You know what? Don't even mention it. I'll get it on my turn. <laughs> All right. I got it. Just here? Okay. Got Dobby. it. Okay. I get it. Dobby, back to you. You see your friend, your, one of your best friends, Clarl, dying. You better oh, no. save them before it's too oh, late. No. I need to go scratch and crawl, but 
don't know what that means. That sounds really weird. <laughs> I'm just... I choose death. It doesn't, I honestly. <laughs> I want to just let me die. <laughs> okay, but I know, I know that. One second. Ow. I have to choose. Where is Quarrel? You have a staff of healing, by the way, if you forgot. <laughs> no, I haven't forgotten. I want to go scratch her butt. You don't have to staff. touch them with the staff. Oh, but like... Dobby always scratch to heal. <laughs> no, I'm like... Okay, well, you're, twice... you're 20... Hold oh, on. <laughs> you're 35 feet away, so you're five feet short. Okay, so I'll move a little bit. Five feet, and I'm going to cast five feet. Okay. And staff of healing. I cast heal on you. <laughs> wow. Pretty good. And I said, <laughs> uh, one second, let me roll. What is it? Is it 2D? <laughs> I don't even know. It's 2D4, right? 2D4 plus 2. Well, no, hold on. Heal? Heal is. No, it's bigger. pure wounds. Sorry. Pure wounds. Oh, pure wounds, yeah. Pure wounds. What is it? Which your wounds is, uh, I, I'm not a cleric, don't ask me. Your right. wounds is touch. I should ask my best friend. Your wounds is touch. Yeah, oh, you you talking about healing words? Yeah. No, 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 no. What, get, <laughs> give me a sec. I don't have a cure, cure, uh, cure wounds, mass cure wounds otherwise, but I don't have enough charges. Oh, so you have to go, you have charges. to actually run up and touch them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I need to scratch her butt to do okay. it. <laughs> I mean, you didn't know. So Dobby flies up. Oh, you're flying. flying. That's right, yeah, you're flying. flying. You have a flying speed of 40. <laughs> you easily get there. So I get well, there. Running to you, you just fly over them like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're good. Okay, Dobby's so you flying. easily fly over okay. to Clara. Can we say that? Can we say that it's a bonus action? Because I want to do something else after. Ow. Okay. <laughs> you gotta force me to do that. You've, oh, sorry, to sorry, sorry. You, you don't have to. You have to my agency a little bit. Oh, but... okay. No, I take it back. What you can do. You do your thing, and then you do your thing, me. and then Clara might die. It's all good. Okay, no worries. Okay, okay listen, so listen. I'm not gonna do that. It's okay. Listen. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna scratch Carl's butt. No, 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 no. Just let Carl, let Carl, let Carl. <laughs> so I have to scratch okay. the butt. Okay. Feel good. Stick. And then I do two D four, I guess. What's cure wound? Wait, wait, what's cure wound? Um, it's a D8. Oh, a D8. Okay, so I do a D8. Hold on, 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 hold on. You also have mass cure wounds on the staff. But it's five oh, charges. I only have three left. Oh, you only have three charges left. Okay, got yeah, it. Yeah, that's okay. why. Okay. So what is it? D8? So five points. You get five points back and you immediately... <gasps> What's your spellcasting? Come back plus up, what? plus your spellcasting modifier. Oh, sorry. So, uh, ten. Ten points. What, your modifier is... Oh, no, 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 no. Eight, 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 eight points. <laughs> Dobby's like, oh yeah, ten, eight, it's the same thing, so, same number. You come back up I, with I, eight I points, Carl. And you have a strange affection for Dobby. <laughs> Maybe, though. Let's see, roll that wisdom save. I was dead. Wisdom save. <laughs> I've awoken in a hell, the likes of which I could have never possibly imagined. <laughs> <laughs> Play Nerd Allies, hello! Hey, how you doing? Whoa, whoa. Hi, hi! Hello, sir. Ten or eight are the same thing. Is it natural 20? Is that natural 20? <laughs> yes! <laughs> you are unaffected. You oh, kind yeah, of, you. you have a grudging respect for Dobby now, but you, you don't. Thank you, Boiler Zone. <laughs> Can I just point out that the only crits I've rolled this entire time <laughs> have been in response to Dobby trying to force affection upon me. <laughs> Once a critical failure, and the next time, like, you're gonna love Dobby. Pat 20. Uh, no. I do not. <laughs> oh my goodness. But you me now. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, That's so funny. You respect Dobby. <laughs> but anyway, it's your turn. Oh no. No, oh, once again, I have. Oh yeah, what are you doing? I have a bonus action. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, with my bonus action, I can do... Oh, one second, I can heal more, I think. You no, I cannot. Oneself. No, it's turn the tide. No, 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 yeah, I can't do anything. Okay. I'm just like, hey, welcome back. Guess what? 
There's so many people and they love me so much and I hug you really tight. Oh, this is so great, you're back. This is the worst thing I could have wanted. Oh, and I give you a very, a very, very um, Please, watery very kiss. Completed. On I the forehead. Know, no, you do not. No, you do not. No, you don't. No, you do not. I have an increased AC and plus two to my saves. No, no you do not kiss. Are you on the ground? You're prone. So, no, you just pick... you know. Okay, just anyway. A... Clara, your turn. I slip away and try to go find that tube. Okay, uh, the tube is up here. So you, you can dash up there. I dash, because also Wait. Dobby's here, so like... Five, five, 10, 15, 20. 10. No, these are the little these are the little ones, right? Oh. So one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just dash them there. So yeah, okay. What Thanks. the hell is this too? Yeah, go ahead and make an intelligence check. Oh great, my strength. Or Arcana. Mm-hmm. Okay, a nineteen. Nice. Uh, yeah, you Ooh. immediately realize that this is find it i'll find it and i'll tell you just a regular stick an arcane yeah an arcane <laughs> cannon a long wooden frame holds this metal shaft this is <laughs> the worst. can we go slow it down please <laughs> can we please go for like I'm gonna make a, uh, make a suggestion. Carved into the shape of a, light, a roaring lion's head and covered in magic. Yeah, slow it down, Chris. <laughs> Smooth. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. Are you gonna touch it? The, uh, the blue scales earlier, <laughs> you saw the blue scales were straddling it and pulling on the lion's horns, convinced it would yield results. You, however... <laughs> I have have horns? Uh, you, however, realize that it is, in fact, an arcane cannon. Okay. <laughs> uh, we are all adults here, absolutely. Yes, we're very mature. Yes, we're adults right now. We're just adulting. We so we're like adults at here. Adult stuff. Uh, so then, anyway. Uh, <laughs> Amanda's gonna go into another crisis. <laughs> like, like, like Buffy, get a grip, oh, a firm grip. <laughs> a firm grip. Adult firm or grip. King <laughs> Cannon. <laughs> yes, and Buffy, yes. Yes, Fee's <laughs> Cannon, yes. It's pretty late for us here, guys. Yeah. It's like midnight. I'm just saying. Uh, anyway, so you you realize this. <laughs> Although I have to say, first picture that I saw of an arcane cannon is the most a badass and b terrifying thing that I could have imagined. That's true. Considering that there are kobolds wielding it. <laughs> That's true. It's like giving the nuclear codes to a toddler. Uh. Uh. Just try. No way. Okay, no, that is Clarl's okay. turn. <laughs> Unless you have wow. any bonus actions. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> a bonus action is to say, I regret to inform myself that I somewhat respect you, Dobby, but never touch me again. <laughs> <laughs> Dobby's eyes are like, oh, wow, so much love from you. That's amazing. It's not. <laughs> Send me your invisible kiss. <laughs> I, I have plus two AC against this. <laughs> okay, the dragon attacks the slime. Oh no, it's, oh yeah, it does, yeah. Dragon it's attacks sorry. the slime. Uh, oh, it takes another lots of damage. Okay, how much? And then, how much? It takes another yeah, 32 points of damage. Ooh. Yes. The dragon? Uh, no, no, no. The dragon's fine. The slime is gonna try and hit the dragon. Oh, yeah. My God, uh, he's hits it. For me. Hits, hit misses, oh. and hits two times. Tries to engulf the dragon. Cannot. It's too big. Oh no, it can. And the dragon needs to try and break away next time. Okay, got it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is getting intense. The kobolds keep coming towards you. So they move. <laughs> Because I moved. They attack the. Oh yeah, yeah. They keep moving. The, somebody tries to attack the owl bear. 
Uh, what's... Here we go. Oh my goodness, there's too many rolls to go. Hits it for... Uh, that's uh, that's eight points of damage to the owl there. No, no red bastard, no! Hey, what? Stop. How dare you? <laughs> All right. Eight points of damage? Who's the dead motherfucker who did that? <laughs> the cleric... Cast a spell. Teleports. Shit. <gasps> up to Dobby. My God. Oh. Romance. Dobby! I know my true feelings for you now. Now? I thought you loved me. <laughs> I'm your best friend. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Interesting. You made him friend zone you. Yeah, this is quite a twist. <laughs> Dobby! <laughs> Dobby's confused now! Best oh, friend! Please. So we're not lovers! <laughs> it's not my turn anyway! No, as we move two back to the top of the round. Dog two. Dog two! The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> yeah, the real star of the show here. It's true. Yeah. Uh, because there are no kobolds within running distance, it's going to run over to. There's this where... one. Wait, 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 there's this one. Where? There. Yeah. Oh, okay. What am I doing? Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Fuck him it's up to you. You could go to your master's last known location, or you could fuck up a kobold. I just want to give Absolutely. dog two options. I don't know. Dog two's first. You know, the first thing that uh, that you know Hick yes. ever said to him was, you know, you fuck up them blue balls. That's right. So, you know. <laughs> I die. We disappear to another yeah. extra-dimensional yeah. dimension. You get it. over and like the... Ah! Like, All right. Like, uh, <laughs> like, the, the, roll the to attack. <laughs> roll to attack. <laughs> <laughs> that is 17. Hits, and they roll a 6 on their con save. Ex excellent. <laughs> so that is 10 plus... Uh, 14 damage. And it's dead. Excellent. Another one of Dobby's best friends. <laughs> I mean, so many dies. All right. And he, he continues his path back to his master's. You know, okay, he gets there and sees the deck of many things oh, no. where the master oh. used to be. Wait, what? But I don't think he's. We'll it's see. Just like a random Biff. one. Come Moving on. to you first. Yes, keep going. Oh, thank God. So. Dobby's not here anymore. What? As I understand it, I'm the only kobold who made it to Dobby. <gasps> no, I moved! Yes, but she moved. I moved to Chloral to heal. But I made it to Dobby. You Can did. that give me my movement? <laughs> Can you what? Terms of this contract. He failed, but he made it all the way to Dobby to give her, uh, to give them a hug. So, Aww. does he have to make the wisdom saving throw again, or does he now have his own free action? Because oh, no, like, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, you have your own free action now. I'll give you a okay, free hug. Okay, the rules while your glass is going free hug. Good as Biff. <laughs> Biff's gonna go get a really cool gift for his friend. Okay. <sighs> the cards. Well, D10. Gonna pick up the cards. Oh, you're gonna pick up the cards. Interesting. Okay. Our party dwindles even further. <laughs> Just uh. I to do this. Give me a, this give me a win. Me once in Michelle's campaign. Yes, I did that to him once. I did. I noped out of that shit. <laughs> About it. Stop. Stop. There you go. This one. I see. Probably a good one. Oh. Maybe. Yeah. You said that about the last one. <laughs> yeah, well, I thought it was something else. Oh, well, you... Man, this is reassuring. This is the sun. The king of diamonds. What does oh, the sun do, of... you might ask? Bullshit is this. You gain 50,000 <laughs> XP. Sorry, and what? a wondrous item. <laughs> appears Sorry, in your what? hands. Sorry, what? You gain 50,000 XP. You are now level, uh, I, don't, I can't even calculate it. What are you I'm right now? Level, level four? For sure. yeah, probably you go to level six. seven. Sure. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 what is going on in this one shot? <laughs> you go to level seven and you are, you have a wondrous item of your choice in your hands. Oh my god! 
I'll, I'll sort this out. Oh, oh wait, I wonder if that's of my choice. Anything oh. you want. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna take a little bit of a walk right now. So <laughs> oh my gosh. The fix is great, but have you ever pulled the sun oh. card on a one shot as a level four kobold? <laughs> we don't even know. We don't know. Citrus flavor. Chase, we, we don't have know no what's idea. going on. This just got way out of hand. So, uh, I don't. I don't even know. Oh. Okay. Well, as Biff walks it off. Yeah. Hick is trapped in space, and Aww. we don't move worry, to Hick, I'm coming also, for you. Don't move worry, to the Manticore. He's in space, screaming, but like I love Dobby. <laughs> Dobby. <laughs> what does the Manticore do? <laughs> Continue. Continues to try to get this dragon, this damned dragon. Okay. The dragon <sighs> so is now inside the. Oh, I, I, here. <laughs> There's only one person fighting. The rest of it was just like <laughs> bullshitting around, like just. <laughs> so the tail spike is 23 to hit. Okay. Oh, hits. Oh hey, thank God. you, Topo Tor Tor Turtle. Topo Turtle. Hey, thank you, because hey, you love so me. I know you love me. We're best friends, Topo Turtle. I know it. Uh, so what you do? Well, the Manticore will hit the slime actually, because it's covering okay, the dragon. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay. And that is six damage, piercing. Okay, got it. And then bite is fifteen. Does that hit slime? It does. Excellent. So that that is uh, four piercing. Okay. And claw attack would be dirty twenty. Okay. Ooh, four seven slashing. All right, it's looking pretty bad at this point. If I could make a quick uh, suggestion to the Manticore, just just their general sense of self-preservation, to maybe then step back from the fray. <laughs> <laughs> but opportunity? Well, I mean, it's up to you. I did just find a magical cannon, so you go ahead and pick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, no, that's true, that's true. So, so are you shouting this? Are you shouting this? Oops, if this was a, uh, I can't see it that way. Let me pull it up in a different way. If this was a lion, that's kind of what it would look like. It's got a human so face. Where? On roll 20? Uh, no, on the, on the stream, on the stream. Do oh. I get dex? I just don't know how many hit points it has. It's not, hold on, it looks more like a, that's okay. Manticore. All right. Nice. Anyway, oh, but level or rarity, like magical item. Can Anything I get? you item? want. <laughs> I mean, we've already got people like throwing around wishes and like you know whatever. So pulling out deck of many things. Why not? Oh my god, this is too insane. That's too many choices. I think I broke Jared. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Jared's broken. But you could Jared, also, no. in fact, pull out another lucky blade, or what is it called? Blade of luck. And cast another wish if you'd like. But anyway. Oh yeah, so he can come back. <laughs> in fact, you get 1d4 plus 1 charges. This one already haven't been used. Alright, so. Come on, we have to save Hick! So, so, so. Moving to Dobby. Dobby's turn, followed by <laughs> Carl coming up. All right. So, my heart is a little bit. <gasps> Did you. Did you just break Dobby's heart? Again? <laughs> I mean, you helped me see my real feelings. When you made that spell, I, 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 my, my brain became clear. And before, I was d deeply in love with you, and you broke my heart when you ran away. But now I know we are just best friends forever. Oh. Wow. <laughs> hey, Dobby, don't worry. He's within 30 feet, baby. It's all good. <laughs> no need to worry about it. I... I, I'm gonna give me your hand. He does. 
Oh, oh Jesus, she's gonna cut it. Sorry. <laughs> and Dobby she's grabs the entire time. Grabby, Dobby grabs their long sword and I said, <laughs> All right, this is something I should have done since the very beginning of time. And I'm gonna slash <laughs> And cut his finger <laughs> off. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. And then I'm gonna put it in his nose. <laughs> like I said, I would do it. <laughs> and I'm gonna tear a little bit. And you should All also right. take a steps back. <laughs> I step back and I say goodbye, cleric of Tiamat, former lover, current best friend. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I shall go and find Pick now. And oh I leave. God. <laughs> and I walk toward uh, yeah, but it's and I walk toward where uh, Hick disappeared. Okay. Oh, Got what's it. their reaction though? He says, "Ow!" <laughs> and then, "Ow!" Oh, oh, a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> and then he's like, "We'll see you later, bestie." Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Where Humble folks, where, thank where, you. Where? Hello. Thank you for the raid. Hi. Hi. You come into a bit Hi. of chaos. Uh, Humble folks, are you here because you love Dobby? I know you're here. I know you're all here because you love Dobby. Because Dobby wished across the universe that everybody was their best friend. Thank you so much. Oh, all thank right. Thank you. Well, Dobby moves away and Claral, it's on you. <laughs> All right, well, um, I've taken a look at this pretty cool arcane cannon. Um, am I to assume that this this boon is uh, loaded? It is loaded. And so I don't know what your stats are showing, but this one is a plus eight to hit. 500 foot range and deals 8d10 force damage. Oh, okay, mine was different. Yeah, mine said that you had to pick the pick the thing, but this is way stronger than that, so definitely. Um, the range that I had listed on mine, and you correct me if I'm wrong, uh, because I just clicked the first link I found, um, generally lists the range as like anywhere, a line within 300 feet long, or a ball within 1,200 feet. This one is a blast, a ball, a sphere, if you will, of... Perfect. 30 feet radius. Okay, AT perfect. And that's force. just what I was planning on doing. I'm going to shoot it uh, starting here because, uh, as you may have noticed, that does get basically everybody. It also, unfortunately, gets Red Bastard. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, I think the art doesn't care. No, it's now yeah, he does. level he does. seven. What's the, what's the wish dagger? Like, the wish dagger could bring him back and someone count? else back. Does that All count, right. Chris? What's that? Wish dagger. What does it count as? What? That's a wondrous item. It doesn't count as my item. You yeah. could get it if you, you want. could if you wanted to. Let's see if our bastard survives. Um. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna do that and get everybody. Fumble folks, how was your uh, how was your stream? How did it go? Thanks again for the raid. Yeah, all cobalt one shot here. They've gone okay. I think I have to like. There's some people you've probably yeah. been watching that we didn't explain the story very well. Basically, their dragon queen left. So the blue scales and the red scales are having an all-out war while the dragon queen is gone. The Red Scales have now infiltrated into the big pile, the Dragon Queen's Horde, as they've been collecting extremely powerful magical artifacts along the way. One of them they've just received is the Staff of Power, which is super strong. They've also received a deck of many things, and uh, I forgot the name again, Blade of Luck. Bag of Wish. Anyway, the, the Lucky Blade, the one that gives you the, the Wish spell three times or four times. And uh, yeah, all those things just happened. One of the players wished that everybody in the world would love them, and they do. That's Dobby. That's Dobby. Somebody pulled the Ace of Spades at the dungeon and uh, got put into an interdimensional prison for eternity. And that's pretty much where we're at right now. As everybody's rushing Thank you, to Daniel. Dobby. Thank you, Daniel three five nine for the bits. By the way, about to shoot off an arcane cannon. 
Okay, and yes, now one of the players' characters is going to shoot off an arcane cannon. Do it. Blow your load. Please roll your <laughs> your text <text-throw. laughs> throw. God, I'm bad. I'm <laughs> This is an adult stream. We're adulting right now. Are they all We're adulting. Take we have like long sticks damage. and whatever. A broken Sorry. Heart. I don't think so. I imagine it's a save. Oh, it's a plus eight. <laughs> a plus a eight hit? to hit. Yeah. Really? Okay. Mark. Cocked dice. It's a nat twenty. It's a nat twenty. <laughs> so yeah, double that damage. <laughs> I think sure? Red, Bastard, Red Bastard's dead, man. I just double the number because I did roll a 49 the first time. Okay, yeah, sure, yeah. You double that number. 98. They all take 98 points to each. Oh my god. Is there a save? <laughs> no. <laughs> How fast is it? Like, wait, what's the word? I'm sorry. I was. It's a magical cannon. I can cannon that <sighs> shoots off. So, blast. everybody oh, in this immediate area, except for. The dragon just <laughs> vaporizes like. Well, I've achieved my true dream. <laughs> just like uh, <laughs> Infinity War. <laughs> oh, no, don't cry. Red bastard. <laughs> Red bastard. As they all vanish <laughs> without a trace, <laughs> except for the dragon who's looking extremely hurt. <laughs> Stop me, my friend, help me. Who's this baby now, you blue bastard? <laughs> um, Don't I, shoot me again. Chris, what's um, the name of that item? Wait, the dagger of whatever. I'm gonna slide away because uh, I don't want out. him to shoot it at me is. again. The uh, luck blade. Zoop. Uh, hiding behind that rock. The luck blade. Oh, I can't get shot again. And you can choose the shape if you like. It can either be a great sword, a long sword, a rapier, a scimitar, a short sword. Oh, well then. Um, I'm gonna make it a short sword. Okay. No, no screw that. Screw that. Great sword. Of course, it barbarian. Is not a uh, you are Sounds now good, but it thing. is actually. <laughs> We go back to the top here. Yeah, so first it's the dragon's turn. He's looking at Dobby like, help me. But then oh, we go back no. to the top of the round. Yes. Being dog two. Kill him, dog two. Dog two. Who has Kill the dragon. Right next oh, to the dick of many actually. things as well. Can a spider yes. draw a card? Sure. Yes. <laughs> Just jump on it. I've got, the, I've got the deck. Well, but would you let him? He puts a, he puts a, a little hand up on your deck. Yes! <laughs> Next spider, draw the card. How, how much does Biff as like dog too? Is a master missing his companion to a companion <laughs> missing his master. Oh. <laughs> that sticky mandible pull a card out. <laughs> this is Please just... don't blow his up. Now the pet spider is drawing a card. This is insane. Stop! Stop. Okay. Yep. Sorry. Dramatic power. <laughs> you pull. No purpose. I didn't move. Oh my god. The skull. <laughs> you summon an avatar of death itself. <laughs> now he has to fight. Dog two and one on one. Go on that. Again. Yeah. Tattered in black robe and carrying a spectral scythe that appears in a space of my cho- choice within 10 feet of you and attacks you, warning all others that you must win the battle alone or die and be sucked down to hell. The avatar fights you until you die or drop to zero hit points, whereupon it disappears. If anybody tries to help you, the helper summons his own avatar of death. It's <laughs> just the crappiest look, guys. I'm tre- oh, so bad. A creature slain by this avatar oh, cannot geez. be restored to life. But one second, does, the, does death want to be my best friend or not? Yes. No. Oh. <laughs> you said everybody. Yes, as it everybody. everyone except apparently Carl. <laughs> Everybody, but Death's busy right now, so. 
has a mission. Has a business. Oh my god. <laughs> Dog team is uh, just destined to die. I'm just gonna use... How, how, yeah. <laughs> me down, me. <laughs> how, tough a, how tough a road to hoe does Dog 2 have? <laughs> uh, <laughs> how many hit points does Death have? Uh, well, why would he say, how likely is how likely is Dog Two to kill oh, Death? No. Well, Chris, very, I think you very unlikely. That's not okay. Chris, also, I think you deleted Biff's token. No, you're oh, right I, there. I think that might be. I think that you're might right be here. Uh, that might be the duplicate. Maybe. No, this is. Uh, I mean the turn. Animation. Oh, in the I think turn I got rid of your turn. Yeah. yeah. You were well, uh, twenty. You're down here. Nineteen. You are. I was 21. 21. Okay. No, dog at 21. Okay. Dog at 23. Oh, shit. Here we go. Mm. So. I feel like dog 2 is so fast. Mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tough road to dog 2. Have All right. <laughs> Biff, your turn. <laughs> dog 2, no. Uh. <sighs> so. Kill the dragon. Oh. You're the dragon. <laughs> and then get your best friend back. Your second best friend. Wait. I forgot Dobby's still alive. One second. Get your best friend back. So, also, I need to roll my d4 to see how many wishes I have. Oh yeah, I roll God. a d4. Minus one. Sorry. A minus one? Yeah, minus one, not plus one. I'm not bad. Really? It's not bad, it's still two. Yeah, so two wishes. It two wishes. Perfect. And by the way, you do have a plus one. It is a plus one sword. Yes. And you also have plus one to saving throws. And you're level seven. Yeah. You could okay. wish for Red Bastard to appear back on Got top it. of the dragon. So you can take his turn and kill him. Oh, that was one of the other things. He also pulled, chat, a deck of many things card. Instantly jumping from level four to level seven. Praise the sun. Oh okay. Um, oh Do we wait. have to bring back Hick? That's true. Uh, okay, two, two wishes. Yeah. What do you do? Because Don't worry about Hick. But has been stuck in galaxies like for so long. Well, Stop wait. Can I, can I bring Hick back with a wish? No, yes. you can yeah. locate them with a wish. Oh. Yeah, don't worry about it. Hey, like, again, like, over here. I've <laughs> been here the whole time. <laughs> but we'll say for the purposes of this one shot, you can. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. I just wish. Kick could be here as strong as I am in this moment. <laughs> okay. Kick. You immediately reappear back into the big pile at level seven. Oh, <laughs> this one yeah, shot this is, is just too crazy. Also, it's really everyone insane. Everyone else is gone except for the dragon. Yeah. <laughs> who is now <laughs> there are dead bodies the dragon who is begging Dobby oh. to help. Yeah. As we move also, to Chris, this turn. One more thing. Hicks turn. Sorry. Yes. What? I would like to rage. rage. <laughs> one more rage is a bonus action. All right. Oh my god. Sounds good. Hick, you're back, and it's your turn. Oh dang. Okay. Oh, so I'd like to. <laughs> I'd like to rage. So um. You're level seven. I'm level seven now. <laughs> this is just. I have. I have never played a ranger at level seven, so I have no idea what I can do. So <laughs> basically, a lot. You just make. Twice we'll just one. say all of your attacks are stronger for now. Okay. okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to uh, pull my longbow from my back and uh, shoot twice. Can attack twice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can attack yeah. twice okay. as well. Cool. Excellent. Uh, with my sharpshooter feet. What are you aiming so, at? With the dragon. Okay. Hmm. So the first shot is 19. Does that hit? So does. Excellent. Does what was that? So sorry. I my had a notification. <laughs> my phone was quiet. No That's true. If they pull the Fates card, you could try again on the deck of many things. What's the Fate card? I forgot. Sorry? You'll have to pull it to find out. The deck of many things. Wait, what? No, what? who's... Wait, so who's drawing the cards? 
No, 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 nothing, nothing. Okay, go ahead, Michelle. Just go. Do damage. <laughs> it's my 12, 12 points of damage on the first shot. Okay. Got it. My Second shot is... Oh, nat 20. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. 12 points, nat 20. Okay, what's the damage? Uh, that is... 13 times 2. And the dragon. How would you like to finish it off? Oh. <laughs> so, so I, I like that. You know how, how Thanos appears um, in, in uh, Infinity War. He just kind of like comes out of this weird pocket of blackness. So, boom, and then Hick appears, but stronger and bigger because weirdly, weirdly, of course, weirdly stronger and bigger. And then he very flawlessly whips around his longbow and launches two arrows at this dragon, one in each eye. <laughs> ah, <laughs> nice. you know, that's how he rolls. So yeah, as this dragon is trying to beg Dobby, his best so... friend, for help, you see... <laughs> <laughs> he just falls over. <laughs> and dies. Spider skitters up your arm. It's horrific, and it loves you. And you are alone <laughs> within the big pile as... Oh, the, um, the other I, red I scales come in like Dobby! I would, I would like to do and then Biff yes. you, Chris, I would like to make one more wish okay red bastard oh red bastard Albert comes back <laughs> I want the real red bastard back Oh no. I wish Red Bastard the dragon he was at heart, my best friend was back, and this death avatar thing was gone. Can you do that? That's two wishes. That's two wishes. Nope. Well, I least... want the red dragon bastard back. Okay. As my best friend. Okay. Interesting. So, Red Bastard. Specifically, as my best friend. Your owl bear. Your best yes, friend. Except for Dobby. Except for Dobby, he's your number two best friend. Real close second. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. Oh my god, I don't even have a red dragon prepared. Comes back as an adult Just do another. red dragon. <laughs> appearing in the place right here. Here, I know. I got it. This is fucking chaos. Yeah, this chaos. Is like, I think this is the craziest we've ever done so this is like far. We became best friends with a toad. Damn. Here you go. Like, <laughs> I love you, little bud. I will do anything you want for me. You know what? He loves, loves me. Oh Here you God, go. I love him. I love him. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. He's yes. Is he a red dragon, crucially? Wait, yes, wait, wait, wait. look at him. Uh, oh, you just drew it? Chris, <laughs> this is the greatest thing you've ever given us in any game. Oh, I mean, he just <laughs> drew it. Chat, can you see it? Oh, DM just drew a red dragon on the map. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, yes. As the uh, owl bear reincarnates oh, as an no, adult I red dragon blowing, appearing fine. right in the space and looks around at you, <laughs> gives you a nuzzle, says, yo, bro. I can talk now. I was hugging his nose. Look, like, I'm too small. I'm nose. I'm too small. Just like, <laughs> and then looks nostril. around at his new treasure hoard. Is like, yeah. thanks for the hookup. <laughs> what? What? I love you almost as much as him. it's like one off. So I, I know that's a lot, but it's one off. <laughs> and now you have. And as soon as he also loves Who knows? Best. One day you might mm. scry in that scrying pool that's on top of the hill over there in the gold and find out what happened to your dragon queen, Aramanthalia Vaccina. <laughs> well, if she or comes not. back here, she's going to spend a lot more than she ever bargained on. Oh, she won't want to be my best friend. That's true. I want to know what happened. Or you may never know us. as you have a new king, Red Bastard. The adult red dragon, and as the other red scales come in, they're like, Yeah! Oh, that's not our queen. Whatever! Yay! <laughs> and you guys have staved off the attack of the blue scales and won back. We also annihilated the, the blue scale race, yeah. I think. That's true. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
Yes. And you have one. Rise of the Red Scales. Nice. Ta da! Yes. So much more than anything else that I ever imagined. <laughs> oh, we won! Oh, and I have so many best friends! I mean, they're all dead, but it's okay. <laughs> Thank you, everybody! So, you want to know what really happened? It's like Thank the you most guys. Not a word to know. We have ever had. This you want to know what really is happened? Fully sponsored by Adult Fantasy. Fantasy. Said yeah, by that's true. Cannon. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can tell you what really happened uh, to the yeah. Dragon Queen. Yes, tell us. When in the future we continue this adventure, far, oh. far from now, okay. we'll have the conclusion. What will happen between Red Bastard and the Dragon Queen? I forgot what? her name already. When she appears to reclaim her horde. The ancient red dragon versus an adult red dragon known as Red Bastard. Mm -hmm. What'll happen when she discovers that middle. her red scales have turned to a new leader and Ooh, betrayed so her? Neat. We'll find out in the future. <laughs> Unexpected. Thanks. But that is for another time. As next time, oh. we're taking a break next week from this group. But the week after, we'll be back on our normally scheduled time, which is Tuesdays. So sorry if we're switching up the schedule, everybody, but we'll be back yeah. on Tuesdays. If you're in the Ordinary. States, tonight, Monday night, I'll be back as Strad Vanzarovic as I take you through another new domain of dread. Your chat produced character, Dr. Fluffleupagus, Tall Fry, Malveron is now going through the mists toward another new and scary place. Where will they end up? Yes, Chaotic Platypus. Thank you for that. Oh but my god. Thank, thank you, you everybody so much, so much oh, for hanging out. So... It was really fun. I had a blast. Yeah, also, exactly. thank you to yeah, all the people fun. here. We had, uh, well, first we had, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fourth Culture for the raid. Oh, but before we yeah. say that, please everyone join our Discord. Oh, yeah. We have a lot of memes and crazy stuff about our, a game. Me too. We, we do, it's true. We have memes about this one shot. <laughs> Uh, join our Discord, it's gonna be really fun. We usually uh, hang out with us, and then uh, you can have also the same hey, on the Discord. Thank you, Tsai Talon, for the uh, Discord. Oh, thank you! Oh, You're and too slow, Sitana. That's right. <laughs> All right, so. I'm too, I'm Dobby. Dobby. I'm Dobby. Yeah. Anyway, thank you, Fourth Culture, for the raid. Also, thank you, Roll yeah. for Damage, also for the awesome raid. And thank you, Young Jinxie, for resubscribing. Thank you for awesome rah rah rah, or just awesome rah rah, for the follow and all the other people that follow. And thank you, Eldritch Scribe, as well, for the raid. And I think and I missed fumble. another one. Flailing Forward. Oh. No, that. Uh, 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 uh. Who did I miss? Who did I miss? Fumble. Fumble folks, Fumble. also for yeah. the raid. And yeah. also for the bits, thank you, Danielle, and some other people I saw also was who? Play Nerd Allies as well. There's too many to keep up with. I, w I hope I didn't miss and too many. And thank you. Thank you, also, thank you to chat, like uh, oh, all the yeah. puns and Buffy, Chaotic Platypus, yes. Psy. I'm just going to say Psy because I don't want to miss everything. Psy? Psy. Feast <laughs> Cannon and everybody like in the chat. Jay's. Uh, you guys made read uh, you guys made the uh, you guys girls everybody made uh, um the one shot really fun too it's true it was super duper work. fun thanks to you <laughs> thank you we love it we do this uh, seriously our chat is so awesome like they just i love the, the way they help the dm so much no. and like roast the players because <laughs> I mean, really that's what D D is about so thank you no, no. I, D &D I is like about what's say, chaotic i would like but, to say a thank you to all the clutch plus ones that the chat did give the players. Yeah. Yeah. As somebody who was panicking over a possible attunement dust roll, really appreciated that. <laughs> <laughs> Very helpful, thank you. And I want to say that Chaotic Platypus is right. Couldn't miss it. Our love for Dobby compelled us to watch the stream. That's, uh, that's why. But also thank you, Chris, oh, for yeah. allowing us to be insane. Or thank you, our DM, for allowing for us to be- all the crazy rules and bending and everything. Thank Just, you. Thank that you, made yes. it really, really crazy so fun. fun. Yeah, just, uh, yeah. You guys thank are you. insane. It's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the chat is insane. Yes. Actually, the chat is insane too, because everybody was like, touch it, touch it, take it, touch it. <laughs> I get it. Chaotic. I, get it. I would listen. 
Once they were like, that staff dissolves people who touch it, but it's powerful. He looks at me and he's like, don't you fucking touch the staff. As I've already written down in my notes, like, I've got to go get that staff. Thanks, Fizzcat, and we had fun too. And uh, I'm going to look at people here to Ray. It looks like Play Nerd Allies actually just started their show. Yeah, awesome. Right. Nobody's from rolling right. together, I guess. Nobody. Let me just check because we do have a stream team that we're we supposed check. to raid. We, we do have to check. Just got to make yeah. sure. I don't think they are on right now, though. No. Okay. So. Awesome. Well, Planar Lies is awesome, too. Awesome, awesome stream. So yeah. let's share some love and join okay. our Discord. All right, guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. While I'm doing that. Dumpy loves you all. Oh, no. Dumpy loves you all. No, no, no. no. Let's get out of here. Quick. No! Quick, before she goes back. And Buffy. 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 Yes, we are a regular group. So this group will meet <laughs> next Wednesday. We're taking next week. We're taking a break, but we'll be on every Tuesday the same time as this time. Mm -hmm. Actually, a little bit earlier. And then yeah. we also have other mini groups. We have one on Wednesday morning if you're in the states. Tuesday night, mm -hmm. and also mm -hmm. on Saturday night this same time. So we have a couple of groups, and we're starting a new one pretty soon. So be on the lookout for that. Anyway, thank you so much. Oh, and, I just uh, think we're going to have the schedule. Bye, don't.